everybody. It's the philosopher here. And today Jack. we have, yeah. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So let's see who we got into YouTube. Uh Battle Angel fan. Oh, that's a cool movie. There's something wrong with my government. I think it needs to reboot or a power off of it. Yes, I agree, Liberty Prime. He agrees too. <laughs> let's go, salty refried bean. That's a really interesting is that like browser. In a, like lion hey y'all oh hey robert i really like the super stickers and i always like to look what sticker you chose howdy jack and fa hey you from the south too it looks like it because you got a cowboy hat <laughs> is that a derringer what are you from the 50s like hey look <laughs> <laughs> a b0 ong donkey <laughs> <laughs> look hey friends you'll own nothing and you and you'll be happy. No, I will not eat the bugs. I will not. Oh, anyway. So if you saw recent posts on my YouTube, you would know what I'm doing. Quoting a song that launches tonight in two hours. That's true. Or 11 for Eastern coasters. East coasters. <laughs> East coast. <laughs> or Atlantic Ocean dwellers. Observers. More like because they don't live in the ocean. I, I okay, think the two yeah. hours would be the same regardless of which time zone you're in, though. I know. It just would be know. third start time. You know, some people are like, oh, what's two hours from now? I'm like, hey, okay, if you're on the East Coast, it's 11. That's true. That makes it easy. <laughs> <laughs> and some people aren't, you know, they're like, they don't know what time it is. So, <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? We got more people coming in. All hey, right, Jennifer. Up, hey, what's Gio. Up, Gio. Oh, what's up, Gio? Fr what's from up? Tampa. Durl, durl. <laughs> open down. source data freeze ideas speaking of tampa women we'll get to that later <laughs> <laughs> on that note <laughs> hey. howdy snorky Min minnesota final <laughs> luigi lugi agar hey, ahoy from florida you liking that sun you like how it's florida again i do I was not happy when it was like 70 degrees and below. I was like, oh, it's cold. Did I go back to the mountains from whence I came in the PN dub? Not the A&E. Sorry, New Hampshireites. Ohio here. This place is a disaster. Wow, that sucks, Jonathan. I don't know. Um, I heard it's 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 got some nice clouds there, a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, now that I think about it. Colorful. Sorry, rain. Jonathan. Maybe you'll be one of them, but. There's a lot of people with Ohio plates here. <laughs> and, you know, New York and New Jersey. You know, it's just normal. Got Tigo from Alabama. Alabama in, in the house. In. Hey, Tigo. That's cool <laughs> if that's your house. You know, I like the blue skies and the trees. It's the simple things in life, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So in any case. Rain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That That's horrible. I hope you survive. <laughs> uh, and we need to free the market so that you can have a gas mask. When the yeah. Goes. Okay. <laughs> All oh, right. Turkey. All right. Look at that. So for those of you, hey, Turkey and Cat Murat, that's a really, really cool photo of like Hoppa in the middle posted up. I wish that was real. <laughs> and Rothbard and Mises. OK, um, but yeah. So for those of you who weren't here last time, which was January, January's live stream show, we're doing something different. You know, if you've been here for longer than like a month, on the philosopher you'll have seen that there's like this monthly video i would do and it was more presentation style and it was just on one topic and that's it maybe like five ten minutes and you know it was like five ways two ways two options three options and <laughs> either way it had really focused points we're still gonna have those in a monthly topic style but in this case it'll be more interactive and it'll be more live so hopefully you like it more and we're actually gonna have more segments so in addition to the monthly topic, uh, we're also going to have current events where we cover uh, not just, you know, what's going wrong, but any positive things that are coming up or exciting things in the liberty sphere that are going on. And uh, we'll also have a meme segment. You know, this is something I wanted for a while that I talked to Jack about because I was like, you know, there's so many memes. Who's a meme war veteran? Anyone? Um <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's so many, you know, there's, there's people every day making memes. 
and uh, good memes, bad memes, whatever. We should just cover it all. There's so many topics, you know, psychology, self-knowledge, and just random like funny stuff too. That's all. That's great. You know, like last time I, it took me a while to figure out this meme, but it was like a bird looking at a V formation. <laughs> anyway, it was like on a computer yeah, plotting. A, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get on with the topic then. Uh, oh, first thing though, I have to announce uh, coming up, I have an event. It will actually be in Washington state. Oh. So I mentioned the PN dub. For those that don't know, that's PNW, Pacific Northwest, <laughs> America. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's a Libertarian Party event in Washington. And if you could see on the screen here, it's going to be this year, next month. And it's March 24th to 26th. That's Friday through Sunday. And you got me, Jack Lloyd, and Clint Russell over here. Uh, pretty sure he's also a Florida man, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Miami, Florida man, uh, twenty uh, Miami, Florida it's, man. If you 20. think about it, it's almost like Florida takes over Washington, right? <laughs> they're importing, You're right. They're importing Where's the, the Washington people? Oh, you, you. That's right. They're not there. They're all in Florida. Because <laughs> Chase, Georgia. I don't know where Mike Tabat's from. Me Stuart is obviously actually from Washington. So, but I like that though. I appreciate that. You know, sometimes when things are getting a little bit chilly. Over in Washington, they got to turn on the heat. So they're bringing a little bit of Florida heat. And that's good. It's good to mix it up yes. from across the country. Oh, please. Can you share that again? Because I didn't see that third line. Uh, okay. So L- L- LP presidential hopefuls. Okay. Uh, and then Cody w- Wisniewski. Wisniewski. I'm sorry. That's just it's a funny name. Uh, it's cool, though. It's cool. It's uh, okay. So with the Firearms Policy Coalition, FPC. Wow. Okay. I'm going to. That, that's cool. That's great. I'm glad that FEC is going to be there. And uh, yeah, no idea where he's from. Not Cody Wilson. Uh, Stuart Regis of and Huskies for Liberty. Okay, you know, like Washington State or Washington University. Okay, I wonder if that's like UW people. Awesome. Well, anyway, if you're around Woodenville, Washington, and you're going to be in that area or can March 24 to 26, Check out, uh, what's the website? Oh. So the website is going to be LPWA, and I'm going to actually put in uh, the direct link um, to the event down below. So I'm going to click on this. Ah, uh, the convention uh, For the convention, year. so I'm going to click the tickets now. So Great. Yeah, we'll put that in the chat on the YouTube or yeah, wherever out. we're... It, it, okay, so there's Twitter and Facebook as well. So yeah, so well, I'm going to put down the link here. So I'm going to put it in the comments right now, but it's all at lpwa.org. So, yeah, and then you'll just have to scroll down below, join the LP watching, you know, the LP. Unless you want to join the LP and then, you you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't think membership of the LP is required, right? No. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a public event, but you you have to pay public, you know. Right. Open there's, to there's the public, but you have to it, pay. And, um, and basically you can do, you know, different things. It just depends on, like, what you want to do. They have something just for Friday, something for Saturday, uh, Sunday, and you could do either Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Like they broke it all down, so you can do as little or as much as you want. Oh, and pick and choose the days, cool. Right, and then I think you could also come by to like some of the main event stuff, and like don't mm-hmm. have to pay to like just hang out during like the vendors table and things like that, just like at any other uh, conference that uh, libertarians do. Cool. But if you're actually going to like dinners or speaking engagements um, and that kind of stuff, then yeah, there, there's you know ticketing for that. But then the people who are doing the business awesome. part of things, there's a, you don't pay for that, but that is. I think already done, like sold out. Like, so people who are actually there specifically for, um, you know, doing, doing the actual business side of things and not just like the fun parts. <laughs> right. Cause the, the, I think the main part of the convention, it's about the uh, libertarian party business, right? So there's going to be business right. meetings. If you've never been to an LP convention in general, um, you'll just see, Oh, Hey Jesse. Uh, Hold the thought. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, but you, you'll just, <laughs> <laughs> you'll just keep going. Uh, I, I forgot because oh, man. I got distracted. This is a tough one. We're going to see just... how can Fa stay not distracted this whole event. We're going to find out. <laughs> it might not last very long because at this rate, with Jesse already coming to the heat, <laughs> we might be taking shots already. So I don't know how long we're going to last at this rate. <sighs> oh, yeah. Fa's already struggling here. There's so. a lot going on on this stream. There's another thing <laughs> to explain here. Do, do, do. 
do. Right, right. All right, let's finish. So LPY, different right. tickets. So um, we right. Forgot. So basically, you know, there's going to be different tickets for everything. So yeah, right, just right. just check it on out. Um, if you're in the area, you know, it could, you could be driving in from another state. You don't have to be from Washington to go to this. It's it's a public event, um, and there's just going to be a lot of different great speakers and fun things to check out. So definitely come on by. We don't get around you know, that off into that side of the country. Um, it's not, you know, typical the that we're over in Washington. State. Right. Smells good up there. It's just a little overcast usually. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so definitely if, if you're ever wanting to like come and hang out, you know, talk in person, catch up, all that good stuff, uh, definitely consider making the trip. It's worth it. You know, even if you're driving a little bit from Oregon or Idaho or something like that, come on by, come hang out. Cause we're, it's, we're doing the, the fun, the most fun part. Cause we actually have I think on Friday, right? The That's entire, the first event, right? The entire and the Friday. only event. So people traveling in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, the big, the, the, the fun social that they have before they get down to business, right. That's uh, with us. So the Friday night mixer, um, and that's with us. And so that's going to be, uh, cool. you know, bikes and drinks, um, and hanging out for, I think at least three hours. And we'll probably, whoever does come out, um, we'll probably be getting some food after. So definitely should join us for some yummy food and, uh, possible pho or hot pot, depending right on what's open. It is Washington, right? And they have a lot of Asian food. Yes. Yes, Yes. exactly. And there's a Chinatown. You know, one thing about Florida that I will say, but you know, I love the trees. I love the sun. But I got to say, there's no Chinatown, but there are Chinese people um, like me. Hey, what's up? <laughs> cool. Florida Chinese. OK, well, cool. Yeah. So check out that. And uh, back to Jesse's comment because, hey, what's up? Yeah, hot dang. Haven't seen you two live in a minute and unfortunately can't stick around at all. Okay, off to bed for early, very early morning because you're a trucker. That's right. That's what truckers do. They're up in the morning. They're blowing their horns. They're like, bow, bow, bow. all right. Well, thanks, Jesse. I'm glad you, you sent some love and support. <laughs> well, um, if you see this later. We just talked about the LP Washington event. And if you're around, you know, that'd be so cool to see you. We definitely would go to like Hot Pot or something or like get boba tea in Chinatown and then like hit up like a late night Chinese restaurant or something where there's themes of 24 hours. Speaking of, I'm really hungry. Let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. So if we get, we're going to have a break the reset campaign. So that starts at 11. Uh, in fact, we are, I guess, I wonder if the campaign is live now, you know, is it live? It, it is. is currently open. So you oh, can check it's it out. Open. But it's, yeah. Not open for support or it is, is that at a support? Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, we can even check this, uh, before we, we get, get to, to it. And that's right. So speaking of, um, there'll be a. A uh, truth or uh, okay, and we take a shot on the campaign. Uh, okay, got it for a super chat. You okay. didn't read the rules, did you? Yeah, but I'm just reading up there. <laughs> What's that? So 25 of the campaign, we take a shot or oh. truth or dab with any five or higher. So, oh, yeah. oh, but with the truth, if you do the truth, then you drink. So, well, we have to get ready because the truth or dab portion of this it involves like you, it, you, you also do a shot. Like if you, um, if you do the, uh, truth part. So, oh. so there's a lot going on. I know that there's a lot I going know. on this street. We have the, we have the game that we're playing. Details. We have right. The, the topic that we're covering and then we're <laughs> going to be doing the great reset launch. And that's why I'm here for, to help make sure that everything, uh, flows and doesn't get lost in translation. So, As managers do. That's right. I'm a very <laughs> Project demanding managers. producer. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. From Hot Ones, you were going to say. Um, yeah, this is the, you know, the Hot Ones, Truth or Dab. So we have that specifically for, um, you know, the game that we're going to play with this in support. So we're kind of getting this all coming together. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. So we'll check that later then. We will go through the topics. Well, we got to do something because Jesse Meeks already done it. So we got to actually just. Put, oh, yeah, that's the point. That's why I got the drinks. That's why. Oh, so if it happens, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens during oh. the mist. It's, you got you got to go. So this is a special occasion. So, you know, if you caught January's it, 
it was just me. That's specifically how it's going to go. But this time we got a, you know, a campaign going on. So that's why Jack is here. Okay. So you get to go first. <laughs> okay. And um, this one's going to be a fun one. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so who is the worst <laughs> kisser snort. you've ever kissed Fuzz? this is truth or dare so choose wisely jack lloyd no i'm just kidding <laughs> hey you just going kidding. down for that <laughs> oh wait wait i was supposed to do uh dab no you, it's truth or dab so you gotta oh, say okay. truth or, okay, or if you're dab. like i'm not gonna say it then you have to do the, the dab and that means you gotta you gotta cook a weenie uh. and you gotta take a shot Oh, so you get a weenie and a shot? Yeah. And if you tell the truth, you get a shot. But no Just, weenie? But no weenie. <laughs> I mean, geez, you're tempting me to get the weenie. I'm going to get the weenie. What? So so I'm I'm not going to reveal. I'm going to go with the well, dad. Now you're making me nervous. What the heck? What? You should be able to easily say. <laughs> okay, but say. it's not Jack. Oh, okay. Thanks. But I'm not going to say that like. Zero <laughs> confidence. Thank you. <laughs> At your expense. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great. Should I make the the weenies? I mean, yes, but you have to show everybody what what you're making first. So you got to pull the, your wieners out and then <laughs> okay. show everybody your wieners, and then <laughs> and then you can okay proceed. <laughs> it's from a, it's from an island that Jack knows well. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, real quick here, uh, right now, Fa is uh, getting the weenies ready so just real quick for anybody who just came on the best place to watch this right now is on youtube that's youtube.com forward slash the flosser this is live streaming simultaneously to eight different channels but being on the flosser channel does make it easy and then you can make sure to uh subscribe get notifications because hey if you haven't already seen we are uh quite throttled so we need to do everything we can to overcome that <laughs> and win out in the algorithms Ah, and it looks like on that note of oh winning out, they're uh, so cold. She has gotten a bunch of cold wieners. Yeah. So this is from. Isn't this from an island? You know well. An island. Some people call it the lonely island the lonely or a island. long island. Is it? The I don't Bronx? think it's a very long. Is the Bronx on the Long Island? Okay. Uh, Bronx is in Manhattan, I think. So oh, so that's not on Long Island. Nope. Whoops! Mixed it up with Brooklyn. Whoops. Well, anyway, New York, uh, <laughs> where you kind of were. Sabret, hey, we Look got Sabret, skinless beef. Don't worry, <laughs> it's made from beef. <laughs> so, how do you have you had Cows. these specific wieners before? Uh, no, I don't think this brand. No, no, no. Last hmm. time I went to uh, Whole Foods, there I got a different kind. Okay, so this is a this is a wiener you've it's never from had Publix. Before. You're saying, yeah, okay, yeah. all right, good. First time weenies. All right, well, how are you doing these ones? Are you gonna microwave them, boil them? Um, I could cook it. What do you? What's gonna take? Yeah, but uh, uh you know, you can't just leave the wieners out on the table. Okay, well, uh, so many decisions. Okay, well, I'm gonna <laughs> cook them. I'm gonna cook like okay two of them. Well, no, you gotta cook a bunch because we need them all ready. Oh, okay. Because I'm sure that the, the <laughs> wieners will not be ending anytime soon. Oh, well. So we, I would say poke a whole thing, right? You, you just you're gotta... so right. So right. <sighs> well, this is going to be a long night of eating wieners. <laughs> long. All right. So so, so just you're going to dump that into a, a pot of, and boil them? Yes, okay. sounds right. good. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. All right, the price... The price of trying to have a little fun raising the next music video. All I right, know. so you know you got this. Yeah, I'm just a quick I'm, minute. Oh, a quick minute. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll just turn yeah, it just, on. Yeah, just then. turn it on. Hit a timer. Okay, cool. I will. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Great. In the meantime, um, for those of you who are still. <laughs> Chilling here. I guess I could see quite a few people. Uh, Memory Man just came on in. What's up, Kurt? What's up, Trini Man? All right. So um, as she was just saying, um, we're going to be doing a bunch of things during this uh, Break the Great Reset campaign. We're going to be actually um, doing the launch of that video. So in other words, the actual uh, promotional video for that drops at 11. So we're going to be uh, watching that and the countdown at um, – 
you know, the time, you know, rolling into 11. So if like you go on the campaign right now and you click on the trailer, it says premieres in 98 minutes, right? February 25th, at 11 PM. So, you know, obviously the video trailer hasn't launched yet. So we're going to be hanging out doing, you know, her monthly presentation, playing the game, stuff like that until it actually uh, goes live. But in the meantime, of course, anybody who wants to is welcome to jump on in, kick in some support. We'll obviously be, um, you know, playing, with the game here along with the supports doing shots the truth or dab and all that good stuff um and as you can see here there's a lot of the things we've done before in terms of uh, the past perks you know we have like behind the scenes teasers stickers photos coasters art well art prints newer this time for music video but we haven't we didn't do that for anti-state um there's gonna be roll credits so in other words um you know if you want to get credit within the music video uh you can there's a credit without perk and with perks so in case you just want to you know not spend as much budget wise you can do one with no perks uh signed t-shirt and then there's executive producer credit so if you want to be executive producer front or back um you know there's there's two different options for that that's you know very high level stuff so Cool in the video. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go Get over that again and, and review it more closer to the actual time. But I figured I'd just give people the uh, rundown leading up to that. So, yes, 11 p.m. Eastern time is when the actual official trailer for it drops, which has its own little unique creativity to it um, in support of that. So, yeah. All right. So how is the process on the wieners? Just started the extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And then gonna why do you need olive oil on your wieners? Never mind. I'm gonna <laughs> is that normal? Tell me, tell me, is it do you put olive oil on wieners and when you boil them? I mean, you put a little salt in the water, maybe just a little, you know, just to keep it from sticking. But olive oil on wieners, tell me, is that a thing? I've never heard that before. <laughs> we got people here saying fry the wieners no we, we cannot fry these wieners we we need to at least improve the health profile of these wieners enough so that they're palatable because they're already not the world's most healthiest food choice so the last thing i need <laughs> is to give myself uh you know two forms of heart attacks when we're already going to be downing wieners with atomic sauce from uh hot ones yeah <laughs> so again oh there we go yeah so we're already going to have hot ones, you know, the atomic sauce for these dabs. Um, oh, of course, if I was not here. And so it's it's going to already be a rough time. So let's let's not die at the same time. Um, but yeah, so you got a hand on the wieners now? Okay. It looks like she's got it. I don't, I got to ask her when she comes back. Like, I don't think that she really did much cooking with small wieners when she was growing up. I think it's been kind of a modern phenomenon since coming to Florida. So we'll see. We'll see. But in the meantime, um, what else is good? Um, so just to give another heads up on things coming up, um, we are trying to work out another event. Um, we are trying to do a Florida-based event. Um we're you know can't talk about the details yet but once everything is signed off we'll be announcing that so that'll be a lot of fun it would be another range event if this all goes through um we're going to be going to the uh, ron paul reunion uh meetup so there is this event um that's taking place um in sarasota so it's taking place in sarasota florida and we'll be tabling nice for that um <laughs> with the LPMC. So let me just uh, take a quick look here. All right. So how are the wieners doing? They I'm right? excited. Yeah, they are boiling. In a boiling. Okay, okay, water. okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Um, Purified water. No so fluoride. Let me see. Fluoride here. free. So fluoride free. Fluoride, fluoride free. That's good. I'm FFF. glad. FFF. Okay. Okay. So if I can. Oh, so cool. Yeah. We, Ron Paul reunion. Yeah, so I mean, I can should be able to say this tentatively because we are, we have just agreed to do the um. Go away. We just agreed to do some tabling for it, but the Ron Paul reunion event um, is going to be coming up, and so it's kind of a hodgepodge mix of uh, people within the yeah. Republican Different Liberty groups. Caucus to Libertarian realm, um, and you know some people from back in the day with Campaign for Liberty um and you know some other familiar faces like tatiana moroz 
Um, I think Hector Ruiz is going to be there with the Libertarian Party um, and some music. I think Jordan Page might be coming down there too. Um, some familiar groups like Fully Informed Jury Association, Mises Institute, apparently, I guess they're tabling. That's new. GOA. Um, cool. Yeah, GOA. Oh, cool. Mises Institute. Right. So there's nice. going to be a mix. And then uh, LPMC is is got a table there. I think we're going to be tabling there too. So, um, you know, if in Florida, I'm going to link you real quick. If in Florida, check out. We check out. Forever free, I guess. It's April, right? No, it's March 11th. Oh, so right before Washington. Yes. Cool. So we're so that's coming up first, actually. Yeah. So we'll be going to uh, that event, and we'll be, um, you know, uh, tabling there with the LPMC. So if awesome. you happen to be in Florida and want to, you know, check out Liberty Event, I think the tickets are relatively cheap. They're like I think sixteen dollars just for just kind of a basic general entry thing. Cool. So something to check out. I will um, definitely be there, um, you know, tabling with our fellow Liberty lovers. All right. So this is foreverfree.com. Yeah. Foreverfree.com. Um, yeah. Again, you can see can right you, there. Can you HTTPS colon whack whack that? I, I could, but it's not going to work. Oh, it doesn't work. That's their, yeah. That's their doing. Oh, I know whoever did it okay. was not good. And they're making doesn't the look good. Then. It's not secure. Thing. I know. Oh, well, but Hey, <laughs> so there okay. it is cool exciting let me check on those wings <laughs> okay <laughs> great and then um that you know since we're just killed some time here while she get those wieners ready we are going to pork fest um 20 uh the 25th anniversary so uh for those of you who don't know pork fest is the porcupine freedom festival it's one of the largest gatherings of liberty lovers um, in the U.S., uh, up there next to like Freedom Fest, uh, or if Tom Woods has an event, so they're having it at Rogers Campground, and this is the Big Twenty that's coming up. Um, so we're going to be going to that. Um, it's going to be June nineteenth to twenty fifth, um, and I think tickets are on sale here. Uh, Seventy five, it looks like. So it's a week long event, and there, there's just lots of. Cool stuff going on, different types of vendors who are, you know, selling all kinds of things from gold and silver to food to like doing crypto stuff. Um, so we've always wanted to go, but just never could actually make it out uh, just due to obligations and other things going on. But now we're finally going out to the 20th. So if you've never done it before, um, definitely check it out, see what's going on there, because it is a pretty cool thing. It's definitely one of those like legendary uh, meetups. So. Oh, pork fest? Yeah, yeah. Just tell people that oh. another event we're doing is we're going to is uh, pork fest. So, all right. Yeah, um, definitely legendary. Twentieth year anniversary. Yeah. I'm I'm so excited. My first time going, and it's also their uh, second decade. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, I was like, we. I'm like, we have to go to the twentieth anniversary. So it's like, you know. Oh, did you mention that we watched the show on? NBC, right? Yeah, NBC, NBC did a. Um, let me see. Yeah, M fascinating. NBC Boston Free State Project. Let me see here. They did do a um, documentary on it. So it, it, part of it is a hit piece, of course, because of course yeah. the statists are going to hate them. Um, but they actually have. It's cool though. Like some of the coverage they do in the beginning before they get to the hit piece part is pretty fun. So it's called Life, Liberty, The Pursuit of New Hampshire. And they do this, you know, kind of 13 ish minute, you know, 10 minute. Uh, kind of segment uh, and they have seven of those uh, that talks about the free state project and things going on so if you've never again seen or heard of any of this definitely at least you know watch some of that documentary to get a beginning sense of it because it's you know pretty well produced you know and then minus their little hit piece at the end but they did such a bad job in their hit piece that you don't even really care at the end you're like wow these statists look really stupid you'll, you'll probably meet the, the yeah. people they they talk about actually right. at uh and we will too right exactly so because <laughs> elliot they talk to a lot of the heads in the <laughs> Elliot, history. Yeah, Elliot, fellow Legao. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Miganda, Miganda. chicken adobo. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's going to be fun. All right. So, <laughs> apparently, we got more wiener money. <laughs> Whoa, so. Colonel Noor. <laughs> he says to buy more wieners. I'll never ever put oil on wieners. That's a step too okay, far. Thank I you. I know. Kurt. I agree. I, told, I was like, okay, I'm not alone in this. You don't put oil on like wieners. It's just but not the thing. that's why I checked with everyone after I already started it. Mm -hmm. So I wasted oil. But 
at least I check before I continue. You know, that's the that's all you can ask. Okay. okay. All right. So just show up close to the camera here. The your, wiener. your wiener. Yes. Hey, did you guys know two inches is average? Two. Or a yes, for a miniature wiener. Oh my gosh. It looks like a little pickle. <laughs> but it's actually a weenie. Thanks, Sabret. In the Bronx, <laughs> near Manhattan, not Long Island. <laughs> not Long Island. I'm from the Bronx. What are you you tired? From the Bronx. So, um, <laughs> once with this uh, this oh, yeah. Long Islander uh, gets over her <laughs> where where <laughs> her strong words for the wieners, we do need the hot sauce. So we you, you oh, got you okay. got to grab the hot sauce. But for the record, Jack is a, a great kisser. Definitely nowhere near the worst. Not even bad at all. He's like really great. So anyway, I'm gonna go have a dab now. <laughs> Oh my goodness! A dab of hot sauce. All right, well, bring it over because we you gotta oh, do it. Oh, it's not here. Where is it? No, no, no. You have to bring your hot sauce over. Oh, where is it? What are you talking about? The hot sauce. I don't Isn't have it in the box. No, 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 no. It's in the fridge. Oh. It's hot sauce. Oh, I don't have hot sauce in a box. I'm just sitting. Oh, there. you don't leave hot. Sauce. I don't leave hot sauce in a random box <laughs> unrefrigerated. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, this is good. <laughs> This is going to get interesting because we're already going to be doing a hot sauce and then two shots. And thanks of, of you, Kurt. Thank you for standing with me and everyone else who knows you don't put olive oil on your wieners. I don't Who does that? No, I don't know where the hot sauce is. What do you mean you don't know where the hot sauce is? It's in the fridge. It wasn't in the side thing. You saw it? I don't know. I didn't see it. Don't, aren't you the manager of the fridge? <laughs> I mean. What did you do? I thought, okay, I I threw it because it was open, and I thought it was in the box. <laughs> Why you threw away all our hot sauces? Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was the one. That Wait, but you threw away all our hot sauces? Yeah, because a long, long time ago. Very that, that's long. like two hundred dollars in hot sauces you just threw away. Wait, they were almost out. I mean, well, they were just. I don't open. think they were almost they were out. Just open and used. Oh my gosh! Hot sauces last a long time because the caspasia it, anyway, it's antimicrobial. I we about, but I thought we had the dab. Oh my gosh! You just throw away all of our hot sauces. We had like literally multiple seasons of hot ones in there. Okay, well, the only thing we have. What do we chili have? Chili sauce. Chili sauces. Vietnamese cock chili sauce. Okay? <sighs> I'm sorry. This is tough. All right, I'm just gonna do. Nope, no, 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 no. Nope. There is, there is another solution, and you have forced this upon yourself. <laughs> you come into the camera. It's a trap. Listen, oh my God. in the fridge are a series of peppers. Oh. So you are going to have to go grab the peppers, <laughs> give them a good little rinse. Oh, I'm so glad we got those. So I have some fail-safe peppers for situations like this. <laughs> I just can't believe that she's, I mean, of course, that's not truly $200 of sauce because obviously some of them are used, but in terms of what was left over, there had to have been at least $100 of hot sauce left that she just threw away. Sweet Lord. All right, make sure to wash or rinse those peppers extra tenderly. <laughs> oh, this is already a long night. We barely even got started. And um, we're down hot sauce, and now we're going to have to replace it with some pepper bites. How, I don't. How are we fitting wieners into this now? Because the whole point of the wieners was to dip them in the hot sauce, not not just to. I guess you're just going to have the wieners to like, you know, kind of chase your peppers. You're going to have wieners chasing peppers now. It sounds great, dude. <laughs> All right, show off what we got. Okay, what did you get? I got, I actually have to look this up because I'm not. Jalapeno? So I got the, okay, the green pepper. Let me see here. I forgot the exact name is because I always forget what the red one's called. Fresno, Fresno. Oh. So show the Fresno. So there's a Fresno, Fres Fresno pepper. And then that's just a typical green jalapeno, right? Hey, chilies, baby back ribs. Okay. Yeah. So, and what else? <laughs> just so a regular that, that's jalapeno. It. Yeah, we just got two. We just got one big thick old green pepper boy and two Fresnos. So I don't know hey, what we're gonna salsa. do. See. But now, now you got now. But now it's just gonna be. 
it, you're literally going to have to bite the tip and just work your way down with each new thing. That's it. But you got you have to do a, a marginal bite because we need it to last because we don't have hot sauce now. I understand. So it, you, you got what do, I must do. You just judiciously. <laughs> All right. Well, well, she's eating her pet. Is that that's not too hot, right? Because it's just a tip. Yeah. Not, right. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's not going to get hotter. It's, you have to go deeper for it to get hotter. So. You want me to go <sighs> deeper? Not yet. No. We need we need time to build up. So oh. that was the first one because we have a second one to do, and you, you could chase it with a shot too. I'm so at. close to the seeds. You are, you're close. You're going to be getting seeds in your mouth real soon. So Drew here, just real quick, he said, "Why is the red flag rally side down? Where's the video short?" So. Oh. Um. I I, I don't know if. if if it's is it down, the campaign that's I can't down, remember or? if I took it. Okay, let me hold on one second. Really, I can't remember what I did. Um, hmm. It could be that maybe I let the names of sunset or something. I don't remember. I it may be yeah. just on WordPress, the website, but the videos, videos on YouTube. No, yeah, the videos are all yeah. up there. So if you ever want to see the past red flag reality, it's mm -hmm. on Foster's YouTube, Hoplophobe, um, the, the 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 teacher's video, and also. Um, Three reasons to abolish the ATF. Um, and what was the other video? Um, red, red flag, red, the red flag laws. Right. So we did right. four videos for that. Um, and they're, right. all, they're all up there. And they're all on Facebook and on YouTube. So you could still see all of our work still up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Okay. Now you have to, did you do your shot? No. Okay. Oh, and this is ready. Wow, this has been a process. so warm. Yeah. Well, I warmed it up a while ago. Now. <laughs> well, thanks for warming it up and taking care of everything. You know, someone's got, someone's got to do something here to keep us running and alive. I swear, I <laughs> thought the bottle was in the box, and I thought we talked about it. it it's a topic sauce. It's a, it's the number 10 sauce of hot ones. You can't just, just throw I away all we, our no, hot ones. I sauces. thought that was a fresh box. I don't know why. But you threw away all the hot one sauces. But you did use most of it, right? Right? Yeah, with okay. my family, okay. when they came down, we had uh, <sighs> dipped it in, like, yeah, these I thought king we did mushrooms use most of it, but and beef. Yeah. It was so good. But you used up the, the T1 flats too? Huh? The T flats the sauces too? So you threw all, you just threw everything away basically. Most yeah, it was like a year ago I talked to you about. Okay. All right. Whatever. All right. So cheers to well, you. Well, thank you, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. And uh, is this me or is it me and you? It's just you because you're the person who did the hot ones. And then Kurt here, I'm doing the next one. So you draw the cool. card for me. Cool. Yeah. So it's every other? Awesome. Well, it's not every other. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's every other for that. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So, okay. Finally. Finally. We 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 managed it. We somehow managed to get hot Thanks. peppers and thank you so much, Jesse. Hope you had a good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's asleep. And I now know. that usually happens. He'll be like, Hey, what's up? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> right. Life of a truth. Okay. Okay, truth. Who is the fakest person in the in this room? Fakest? Oh, well, I mean, there's only two people here, so that's not really much to say. Um, and God. Mm, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, Truth or dab? Yeah, I, I don't think that the answer would be juicy, because even if I said one of us, it wouldn't be that juicy if I said fakest. Hmm. So I'll Best take. I'll acting? just take the dab. I'll just take the dab. You know what? I'll take the dab. Okay, the seeds are ready. I mean, they're Thanks. at... <laughs> I I got the tip where I just missed the seeds. Okay. Well, as you can see here. <laughs> Look, you can see the seeds. Oh, see that's seeds. a really good uh close up. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, do you want a weenie or nah? Oh. Not oh no. <gasps> <gasps> oh, it's really Yes, it's hot. Oh, I see, I had no idea. And that's hot ones for you. Yes, well, Maybe this is better in the end that we're doing this instead of the hot sauce because that's actually really hot. All right. In the end, Whew. I have an IQ of 5,000, and that's why I pre plan and threw away the depth. That way, <laughs> yeah. I knew Jesse was going to comment first. I knew I was going to go for it. Your ten, so I took the tip. Chess. <laughs> 10 D chess. I like to say badminton. Oh. Chess is so 2000s. That was hot right off the bat. Joking. Yeah. Poor Jack. Oh, okay. Does that help? 
Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> okay. That was a, uh, what was it? Knoxville uh, or no? What was it? <laughs> All right. We're off to a good start. Someone's like, rest in peace, hot sauce. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. So, what are we doing now? We're <sighs> so funny. We could go into the topics Let's now. Let's go into the topic. You know what? Let's go into the topic. Let's go into the main topic. Finally. <laughs> are you okay? I'm great. He's been... going to be chilling over here while we go through the topic or trying. Uh, are you okay on a scale know. of one to 10? How hot? It's like an eight. It's up there. Oh my gosh. So, the next one, I'm, I'm screwed. Oh no, I didn't think this through in the 10D chess. Okay. I mean, badminton. All right. Just getting programming. Okay, within... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to cover how the U.S. government takes weapons. Uh, and they <sighs> basically have inventors be secretive about it. There's actually a law that was passed. Um, so, yeah, we're we're going to deep dive into that. <sighs> you okay? I'm good. There, Jack? And that law um, is under U.S. Code 35, U.S. Code 181, secrecy... secrecy of certain inventions and withholding a patent. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Your pain. It hurts. It hurts. It does. It does. Okay. So. So why don't hold on? Why yeah. don't Why don't you uh, kick this off? Sure. By reading through this Wired article. It's old. Okay. It's from 2013, but it really sets a good context to the whole of the situation. So sure. Sounds why don't good. you Why don't you give these uh, fine people here? Fine people. The, fine libertarians the and caps. Conservatives, yeah. liberals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, the lowdown, aka I'm going to read this article. All right, so government secrecy orders on patents have stifled more than 5,000 inventions. This was written in 2013. Okay, so this is uh, 10 years ago now, so it's, that number has definitely increased since then. Mm -hmm. So it opens up with, if the government thinks your patent pending invention has national security implications... Which we know, you know, if if you if you know, that can have very uh, subjective interpretations. So let's continue. It can slap a secrecy order that is the government on it that prevents you from developing your invention. More than five thousand three hundred such orders have been issued, with some of them in effect for decades. So yeah, that's uh, you know, imagine like inventing something you're like really excited and you you put it to market and then the government silences you well through law by just saying hey you better not talk about this we'll cut your legs off okay so <laughs> <laughs> more than 10 years ago robert gold sought to do what many americans have dreamed of their whole lives patent an idea oh my gosh they're like reading my mind okay <laughs> gold developed a oh wow gold your last name is gold <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Gold developed a breakthrough in wireless communications that would help people speak to one another with less interference and greater security. Then it disappeared like a drop call. Clever. Uh, the Department of Defense concluded that his invention could be a national security threat in the wrong hands and slapped Gold's patent application with a so-called secrecy order in 2002, which prevented him from discussing the technology with anyone. Five years later, his attorney succeeded in lifting the order, but by then it was too late. The window of opportunity, I believe, had really passed during those years, Gold said. So we have not been successful at commercializing the idea. And uh, yeah, exactly. Like to be kept literally out of the window when, you know, you worked so hard to like meet the window of opportunity is that's so frustrating. That's, that's horrible. Um, so Gold, uh, to continue... Gold stresses today that he didn't oppose the government's position. Oh. Public knowledge about covert communication techniques could undermine the military. The federal government sponsored his research and retained the right to use the technology. But it also promoted an incentive by granting gold shared patent rights, meaning he could file an application with the U.S. Patent Trademark Office and seek to commercialize the idea. Accomplishing that, however, required petitioning to have the secrecy order lifted as the years passed with his invention living in the shadows. So uh, th th isn't that basically, um, just want to pause here, isn't that basically the government saying like, hey, we're going to retain control over your invention, um, but you can also, 
you know, sue other people for trying to use your invention now because uh, you could file an application with the patent and trademark office? Kind of. Like more so the issue is that yeah. the government says he, you can't use this invention. So they give you a gag order saying you can't talk to this about any, you know, with anybody. Mm -hmm. Only the government can basically use it. Yeah. And if the government uses it, you know, then there's separate issues there, but they they essentially keep you from being able to use it. Now, of course, with intellectual property, we don't agree with that as, you know, a voluntarists and ANCAPs here, but the bigger picture uh, issue is that the government's literally saying, we don't care that you invented this and, you know, had this great thing that could revolutionize the world. We're shutting you down and we'll throw you in a cage if you try to use it or share that knowledge with anybody. So they're, they're literally right. saying, <laughs> we will lock you up if you try to use the knowledge from your invention. Oh, right. Yeah. And if I read it again, it was just more like he could file an application with the <clears> patent. And they're not granting him a patent, though. <laughs> they, so he still would have to, like, file if he wanted to do that. But, you know, personally, I think that's just kind of sick to just, like, say, like, hey, you should be in on this game with us, you know? Right. Well, you can file for it, and they may have not given the patent yet. Like, they may have not said, oh, here's your patent. But it's like you file it, and then I know this from personal experience, knowing someone who was... Um, an actual, uh, you know, patent office review person, they will look at inventions, they will then say, hmm, okay, does this like have any risk? They'll give it to a higher up, and then they'll give it to legal and see whether or not they're going to, you know, gag it. So someone may file, they may have not been granted the application uh, approval yet to be like, oh, here's a patent, but the government might be like, oh, even before you get your approval, oh, we're taking this, like gag you, you know, that's it. You can't talk to this, you know, about this with anybody. We're taking this. Right. That's right. true. Yeah, and uh, it's definitely not going to be commercializable right away. You have to get approval for it to be actually made public. Right. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's just messed up. And another uh, infringement on property rights. That's why I don't like intellectual, this concept of intellectual property. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it's not scarce. It, it's a, okay, so to continue the article, it's a common refrain in the stump speeches of politicians that America is a nation of ideas, but Congress decided in 1951 that some of those ideas must nonetheless be kept hidden. Today, as Silicon Valley and other innovation centers churn out thousands of patents a year, some lawmakers wonder whether the government should have broader powers. No, Wired. No. <laughs> okay. What is known about secrecy orders is largely the result of FOIA, Freedom, Freedom of Information Act requests, followed by groups like the Federation of American Scientists, an independent nonpartisan think tank. Those documents show that the overall number of secrecy orders has steadily increased in recent years, totaling more than 5,300 by 2012. Rob Paul, Rob Paul Revolution. Okay. Was some of them in effect for decades? Tens of thousands of patent applications are manually examined each year under the Invention Secrecy Act and referred for a final decision to the Pentagon, National Security, Department of Justice, and more recently, Department of Homeland Security. So, everybody, and who is that? Um, I think that is uh, someone from Mark the dough Lemley. I don't know. It says, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. See if that. Okay. From the patent oh, owners. <laughs> he's about to come up. Oh, there he is. Never mind. He's not a fed. He is a technology law professor at Stanford University. And he said, from the patent owner's perspective, you're stuck in this legal limbo where the government says you've got this valid invention, but there's nothing you can do with it until maybe decades later. So, okay. He's very sympathetic. Secrecy orders are rare, but violating one can result in prison time. A California man named James Constant filed his patent application in 1969 for radar technology that could track shipping containers, packages, or components traveling along an assembly line. After his secrecy order was eventually lifted in 1971, Constant sought damages from the government, arguing that he couldn't capitalize on the idea. When it reached trial years later in 1982, the court ruled against him, concluding that a lack of business experience impeded his chance of success. Constance said from his home in Claremont that the secrecy order caused him to incur a substantial financial loss and set him back for years. When the secrecy order uh, was put on my patent, I had the only viable technology, he said. In each case, the legal headaches occurred only after the inventor had spent no small amount of time and resources developing the idea in the first place. So, you know, just to just to really like elaborate that there, you know, right, the 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 entrepreneur, the unseen, like before the product even makes it to market, there's all those unseen hours of prototyping from that entrepreneur and that 
that's what you know that's speaking to there and all these legal cases that that was uh, the common thread that everyone had spent a lot of time and money to get their uh, invention up up and running or or just ready to be sold. All right, so we still have a Cold War approach to secrecy orders, said Pat Coet, an ec economist and intellectual property expert. Ugh. If a <laughs> if it you mean what? Okay fallacy expert okay if a secrecy order is imposed you wind up with the inventor effectively having the technology taken away lemley right lemley and others understand why defense officials might want to shield cryptographic technology that could prevent the government from secretly eavesdropping on the conversations for foreign enemies but modern encryption can also protect consumers from identity thieves and allow human rights activists living under abusive regimes to communicate more freely Troubled by the threat of economic espionage from countries like China, lawmakers are asking if some inventions are so essential to the health of the nation's economy that they too should be locked away. U.S. Rep. Representative Frank Wolf, a, a Republican from Virginia, directed the Patent and Trademark Office to consider whether secrecy orders should be extended for inventions that are not tied to the nation's defense, but could harm the economy if stolen, counterfeited, and sold. Officials responded in April 2012 by asking the public what it thought and got skepticism from intellectual property and secrecy experts. Who's going to make the determination that something is economically viable? It's usually the market making that determination, said Robert Stoll, who retired as the nation's patent commissioner in 2011 before joining a private practice. You know what, Robert? I really agree with you. Stoll said such a move <laughs> would do its own damage to the economy. Exactly. And the nation would be better off filing patent applications in foreign countries and taking China or other violators before the World Trade Organization if they fail to honor intellectual. Okay, never mind. I'm just stole. Tom, <laughs> Tom Culligan, legislative director for Wolf, countered that achieving recourse from the World Trade Organization could take far too long. The congressman's goal was first to review secrecy orders in general after years of inattention from Congress, and second to force the federal government to examine how strong present protections are for America's most important ideas, Colican said. Uh, we just want to start a conversation. We weren't necessarily prescribing a solution, he said. Um, okay. Under the law, an inventor can seek compensation if defense agencies choose to use the idea or if the applicant can, pr can prove damages were suffered by not per being permitted. Oh, my gosh. So it's like, hey, you know, you, you have this little pathway where you can potentially have some unnamed amount of comp compensation when you know what the inventor wants like literally his property rights to be respected and just go to market you know that that'd be great <laughs> so uh, so frustrating so fr all right <laughs> get out of the way government jeez okay uh under the law an inventor can see comments blah 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 but the process for doing so is so arduous, economist Choate said. Among other things, evidence confirming the government simply took an inventor's idea could itself be considered secret. And that's important to yeah. think about there, too, because it's like if uh, the government is just basically saying, oh, OK, you know, oh, you want some money? Well, yeah, if you can prove that maybe we use it some way, um, then maybe we'll give you some money. Oh, but by the way, we're going to say that that's a national secret and it's under the state's you know, secret privilege. So, um, yeah, you can't look. So it's like it's, you know, the government literally just covers it up then, too, when you, they say, yeah, you can get some money. Oh, just kidding. Right. And we're, oh, we're going we're to cover it up with another you know slap on it and say, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll classify. <laughs> so they just keep people from getting money on it, you know, no matter what. <laughs> they slap a secret label on it yeah. and then they slap you in the face again by being like, hey, you want to try to like spend more of your time and money to try to petition us to give you some of your money back. But you have to prove that we really like harmed you. You know, that's just so horrible. Just selling you your legs back that they cut off. All right. <laughs> but just like the toe. And you're like, hey, I just can you just not cut it off? Uh, OK. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish this article. Um, so where was I? All right. Stephen Hofberg has handled one secrecy order in his 23 years as an intellectual property attorney. But that order was enough to threaten his client's idea for a technology that could detect objects, including potentially stealth aircraft. Hofberg's client, James Greer of Alabama, a, lived under a secrecy order for eight years after his application was filed in 2000. Wow. That's like, I mean, just 
thinking of that time, you know, if he was kept for like pretty much almost a decade, 2000, that's really early for that to come out. It'd be really interesting to have something like that actually go to market. Um, anyway, during that time, it would have been a challenge to explore whether the idea could be exported to strategic allies of the United States as an anti-stealth technology, let alone identify possibilities outside the defense community. Those possibilities included object tracking for smarter highways of the future and next generation communications. Hofbert argues that it was unjustified for the order to be in place for such a long period of time and that at least by 2004, well, long, you know, that's objective, but anyway, but he, he's saying it was too long and that at least by 2004, the application would not have given adversaries a strategic advantage. Uh, wow. I wonder if he's referring to um, around that time, right? 2001, 9-11. So... Okay, so to continue, they kept us from fulfilling the purpose of the patent, which was to make an investment to bring a product to market, Hofberg said. If the, government if the government wasn't going to buy the product from us and wasn't going to let us sell it commercially, we basically had no value. Coe and others want the government to stop publishing applications until a formal patent is issued. And if the application is denied, they want it destroyed so the inventor has a chance to try again or guard it as a trade secret and ultimately reap the rewards before it's stolen. When it comes to secrecy orders, many of the technologies were backed by defense agencies to begin with. So it's less of a surprise if such an order exists for the technical components of a nuclear weapon system, for example. But dozens of so-called John Doe secrecy orders are issued each year, affecting private individuals and businesses that might never enjoy a payoff from their invention, even though the government has no explicit interest in the technology, like to actually use it, I see. So there are cases, uh, this is inferring that the government wouldn't even use it, but they'll still uh, make it secret. So, I mean, theoretically, because it's kind of like difficult to actually, like, how do you prove whether the government uses it or not? Right? True. If it's they're, like, they're not going to be like, hey, you want a tour then... of Area 51? Well, come on in. We'll show you around. You know, <laughs> maybe you might see how we use your pallet, patents we stole, you know? That's true. Um well, so, and especially something like detecting hidden aircrafts and stuff. They're not right. going to like. So you're you're never going to be able to actually this in China. Right, go across, yeah. you know, all these bases across the entire world and all these secret, you know, military installations to know if someone somewhere in some deep state agency is using your, your invention. Like, that's just it. So, so no stated explicit interest. Got right. It. So, may, right. So the government <laughs> may not say it, but you don't know. You just don't know. Got you it. have no idea. And, and even if they do, they may not admit it to you or they may just say, nope, classified. So, you know, though they're just taking everything they think that could be tangentially problematic. Like if they think that there's an invention that could give people more freedom that the government can control, or they think, oh, they'll say it's another government. Really, it's just I think it's the local people. If they if they think an invention is going to give people at home too much freedom that they can't control, they'll slap a gag on it. So, you know, it's basically that's the situation. Yeah, for sure. Um. <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks for explaining that. Hey, some lawyers <laughs> got to do it. At least it's me. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> so John Doe orders reached a high of almost 100 in 1998, though the annual number has declined in the new millennium. Uh, again, John Doe is what they called secrecy orders. It's like the code word. Well, they say John Doe because they don't actually know who was slapped because they're gagged. So if, if right. they're slapped at they this, you don't, you don't know who it is because yeah, it's they don't publish secret, who it right? was. They, they won't. You wouldn't know until later yeah. if it gets repealed because yeah. they don't want you to like interview that right. guy. Or exactly. Whatever. Exactly. So, oh, I didn't finish the. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, so those orders had reached a high of almost 100 in 1998, though the annual number has declined in the new millennium, according to the Federation of American Scientists. So is the next Google hiding behind a secrecy order? It seems <laughs> wired article writer. It seems highly unlikely, but because of the shroud of secrecy, no one can know for sure, said science historian Alex <laughs> Wellerstein. Thanks, dude. All right. He said even one hidden technology carrying possible events for society that are not defense related is enough to determine the purpose of patents, encouraging invention. Uh, you were going to say something, Jack? No, no, no. It's just he's, it's a possible benefits or side that are not defense related is enough to undermine, not determine. So you said, oh, said I two said different determine. Words. Yeah, Sheesh. it's okay. It's okay. Um, I guess it's the wieners. Okay. Yeah, the, the, you're getting high on wieners right now. I know. He and other experts want at least. <laughs> uh, wait, where was I? You're oh, good. you can just oh, keep going. Thanks for re pointing that out. My pleasure, Jack. Um, 
Yeah, he and other experts want at least the criteria used for issuing secrecy orders made public. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do that, sure. <laughs> the law says it just has to be detrimental to national security, which is vague, Wellerstein said. Thank you. That doesn't mean anything. It'd be nice if he had to actually pass the patent application to people who have business experience, not just people who make weapons and have a tendency of seeing lots of things as dangerous. No, there should be no central security agents. What is the Soviet Russia? What? Get out of here. God, can Get we just end the here. Fed and like taxation is theft? Can we just like abolish slavery? Jeez, I'm so tired. So tired. Well, I think that this is um, <laughs> interesting because, you know, I think when it comes to discourse surrounding patents, a lot yeah. of people like to talk about how, oh, there would be nothing invented if you didn't have patents and all their stuff <laughs> meanwhile the government's, the government's literally taking the most radical technology that would free humanity right it's not just limited weapons it's literally technology and communications security, safety defense. security the yeah. most the things that would literally revolutionize the world and is hiding that from people by force for decades they're literally take so it's like and it, people are like oh yeah you nothing you invented meanwhile the government's taking those inventions dude so it's like this whole thing is nonsense the whole thing's a is, is a show it's a charade <laughs> the government uses the patent office as a screening tool to take people's weapons and inventions and that means fundamentally if you don't want the government taking it you got to get that out there before them you have to you have to release it you have to maybe put it in other countries and get it released in th those places, whatever. You need to literally not give the government the opportunity to gag you before it gets out. That's the only way that you're going to do it. And so anybody who tries to be like, oh, yeah, let me go patent this, the government's like, oh, thanks, bro. Can I have that? All right. Boom. Gag order. Taking it. And then you're, you're SOL. So, you know, that's interesting what you pointed out there of like, it's almost like the office itself, the, the U.S. patent and whatever office uh is like meant to just screen like you said anything that someone would want to commercialize the very nature of the patent so. office is effectively to publicize and, and make known who's making what and the government leverages that information uh for their benefit and often, as has been especially since 1951, for the sake of maintaining control over everybody, like for literally stopping groundbreaking technologies that could potentially right. free people around the world. Things like that. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's insane. And there's there's a few other cases too. I'm not gonna like read to them, but you know, if you ever have any intellectual curiosity, you can look at Hornback of the United States. Um, that's a 1998 case that, you know, deals with someone trying to get yeah, some money. Yeah, we won't read this whole thing. Lost. No, yeah. You can also <laughs> read an older one, yeah. um, Friend Optical Inc., um, the, you know, another case from back in 63. This is a Second Circuit Appeals. Again, if you just want some more history on this uh, specific law. Is um, there a summary we can at least read? No, we're, we're not going to do that because oh, okay. it's, it's just cool. too information dense. Um, and then this concept, if you want to look at Wikipedia, Invention Secrecy Act, you know, just as a generality. And then there's this website that I was, you know, looking at before. It's Invention Secrecy, and they just noted that as of 2022, as you said, there's like been more since then. There's now 6,057 right. secrecy okay. orders, right? Wow. So in effect, wow. This has been, you know, just completely, you know, going on and on and on with more, you know, of these things going on. So do FOIA requests work on those secrecy orders no, that are get, in effect? They'll get blacked out. Oh, if so they'll send it to you. They're like, no, nah. wow. they'll be like, no. Nope. So that's the exception to the FOIA. I yeah. Guess? If it's classified, if it's presently classified, it's not going to happen. So ah, the things, the things hidden under the guise of national security. Yeah. Yeah. So the state secrets privilege and all other stuff is, is, is going to, to stop that. So, right. You know, it, it's just well, there a you reminder. Have it, folks. Oh, that, sorry. Just no, a reminder. Good. That no, it's just a reminder that the government um, is is literally participating in stopping the advancement of humanity, and that uh, you know the purpose of patents by and large is not to foster innovation. That's a lie. Um, it's actually meant to control. <laughs> that's do you that's have so many? Uh, like, can you recall some of those examples you've told me over like over the years that you you know you, like that most stand out to you over the time of these cases of like okay when it finally gets released or something it's like however many years 10 years or whatever it's like oh we could have had that technology sooner um like, wasn't it most cell phones, it, there's a lot of one no that's different that's different that's different. That's, that's, oh, that's a whole okay. different topic that's that's like talking about like you know uh, fcc stopping um 
people from doing cell phone stuff and giving AT and T Bell like a, a you know practical uh, monopoly. So a, a, different a different way different the angle. government That's went to like snuff yeah. it. It's still the government in generally snuffing it, but just not through this. No, a lot of the uh, stuff we law. just don't even yeah, know. Yeah, not through the Secrecy Act. Yeah. So. A lot of the stuff we don't even know, a lot of the stuff that we end up do knowing, honestly, it's just stuff that like for the time may have been advanced, but then it got like boring, like that, like radar system, whatever that could find spacecraft, right? If they, if they're letting it go, they're like, okay, it's not a big deal, but this, all the good stuff is stuff. that's just still under wraps. Like they're just still like, re they're renewing the order year after year to keep it gagged because it, it's something that has to last for a year and then it gets reviewed. But I mean, there's stuff that's going on for decades. Right. You know? Makes me wonder if there's some like really cheap flying system. It's just like hidden. It's been like 10 years or something. Cheap flying. Where we're going, we don't need no roads. If the government would just waves. like free the market and stop getting in the way. Free the market, stop getting in Maybe the way. Maybe we wouldn't need roads, especially because roads, all those systems and like highway systems on across the US was meant for like carrying tanks and like army vehicles, you know, military vehicles. So yeah, the things that government incentivizes war destruction murder so we're gonna move on to a segment oh a segment what kind of segment uh i think current events is next current just, events yeah so well, we don't have much in current events this week oh okay but we do have something that you need to do cool are you ready for this what do i need to do so back <laughs> in the day yeah right yeah. you were a student Oh, yeah, Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how are you? Oh, so gozaimasu. could you talk to us about how, <laughs> what what you did back in the day with Japanese? Ah, those, those were the days. <laughs> those were the days of learning Japanese when I was a Witofa. Little tiny fan going to Japanese. I'm like, hello, I'm Chinese. Japanese, you're like my cousin. Also, did you know that kanji is literally... Literally. Chinese characters, traditional too. They don't even do simplified. That's how cool Japanese is. They literally chose traditional, not simplified Chinese, like, you know, the Communist Party of China. Um, and Winnie the Pooh, their leader. Just kidding. Evil Winnie the Pooh. Evil <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. It's not the real Winnie the Pooh. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did. I, I learned Japanese as a as an American Chinese Vietnamese person, and it was fun. You know, I learned some things. I took three years, went all the way to three hundred, and I had. I think it was always no wait yeah 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 was it always just one no I had two different teachers yeah yeah one was she was like this older lady. And she was like, wow, you know, I'm really short, but like, whoa, she was really short. And she was like, you know, like at my shoulders and I'm like, what, like 16 or something. And, you know, I'm, I'm small. I was like four foot 10 at the time or 11. <laughs> okay. 10 is pretty short, but 11. Um, and yeah, she was like, oh, I go, go Zyma Su, uh, Kiritz, Kiritz means to stand up, I think. And then like, yeah, you know, it was it was fun. Good times. And then she showed this video about the Internet that I just I just can't find. <laughs> I would even like go back to that school and be like, hey, you know, that like alphabet video you showed us be like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Philosopher son. Yeah, that's that's right. I went by the philosopher room. <laughs> so <laughs> the question is, is yeah. Can you still do the Japanese alphabet? <laughs> I mean, well, the easy part about this is you have the romanji on the screen. Oh, I got some romanji. What's but, romanji? What it could it tell, tell? No, I mean not Roma. Uh, wait, romanji. Wait, isn't that? I think romanji is like the English, like you know, the like written out form of the letters. So this is like a cheat sheet. You oh, know? okay. So if you you would have to get a chart that doesn't have the romanji, oh. the the romanization, right, right, because the <laughs> English alphabet comes from uh, Romans. Just kidding, fact check me there, guys. Someone's like you're four foot twelve inches now. Uh, you're right, Israel. Don't you need to go back to Palestine? I'm just joking. I, I'm just being silly. Uh, your name's Israel. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> 
I am four foot twelve inches. How'd you? Know? They must be. Have we met? The NSA. <laughs> you a fed? <laughs> All right, but this is a cheat sheet. So if you're trying to test me, you have to like go without the room. The okay, Romanization. so what do I have to look up? Do I look at hiragana? Yeah, e or you could just. Yeah, you can, you can start with hiragana. Let's do hiragana chart first. Is that different from hentagana? Uh, that's the, what? Oh, what is hentagana? I don't, know. I don't even know what the heck that is. Okay. Oh, I guess that's something else. I've never, never heard, heard of that. Ever. All right. I'm, All of these have cheat sheets. I can't find one without the ah! cheat sheets. Oh, that's one. That's where, one. Where? How was hiragana born? Oh, uh, put your mouse up. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. It's cheat sheet. Too. Exactly. Everything is a cheat sheet. What am I going to do about <laughs> um, this? Um, maybe do All right. Japanese only. How can I do that? Just put hiragana Japanese only. Maybe. All right. We got to be smarter than the algorithm, guys. <laughs> oh, hiragana <laughs> test. How about that? Hiragana <laughs> test. How about that? Do you want some more wieners? I don't want any wieners right now. Oh, here we got a test. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can still see. Why do these test? I'm struggling here. What I you, know. I, I didn't know. prepare for this. What do you want? Okay. Is this close <laughs> enough? I think neither of us. I lost the dab. I mean, I threw away the dab, rather. The All right, dab how about sauce. this? Do you know these? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start from right, right, and we're going to go down, and then we're going to go left. Okay. okay. You know, columns, right, right to left. Okay. It goes... Ah, e, u, e, o, yasu, yo. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's that song I can't find that I would go to my Japanese teacher for and ask her to tell me, like, what was that video? Was so good. Anyway, so it goes a, e, u, e, o, and then it goes ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Okay, third column. Sa, shi, su, se, so. And then uh, fourth column. Ta, chi, su. I don't know. Te, yeah, 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 yeah. No, wait, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, it's tsu. I might be off there. <laughs> and then te, and then to, and then it goes nani, nu, ne, no, and then it goes ha, hi, hu, he, ho. <laughs> and then it goes mami, mu, me, mo. And then, you know, the Y sounds don't go all the way. It's just three of them. It just goes ya, you, yo. Interesting, right? And then, and then there's another one, which is ra, ri, ru, re, ro. And that's when I learned there are no L's in the Japanese language. And that's why when they try to speak English, they just can't, Japanese people, like usually, not always, but they usually just can't, you know, just say like, if they said trees of liberty, they'd be like trees of liberty. I mean, like trees of liberty. Just the way it is, you know, if you. If your alphabet doesn't have an L sound, it's hard. And you know, funny story, like Chinese is similar like that too. Uh, Cantonese. Actually, I can't think of any. No, no, no. There is the L. It's like Ling. <laughs> yeah, never mind. There's the L. No, like Cantonese has like Lang, Ling, which is zero. Anyway, so, <laughs> you know, Cantonese people have an easier time trying to speak English, basically. And did you know? Cantonese is actually has some uh, foundations in English. Yeah, that's right. Fascinating, right? Oh, so fascinating. Yeah, hi. All right. So thanks for the <laughs> shots, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Andy Kaufman's running me off on me. That's an old name. Okay, so cool. Yeah. So um, I, I think that your Japanese accent is pretty excellent. It was all right. But yeah, I can read hiragana and uh, it, it's probably harder if it was like randomly put up. Mm -hmm. But because it was in that linear order, part of it's just me remembering, you know, the sound. What's the difference in like intonation like in Chinese versus Japanese? What do you mean? Like how did like, you know, when you say Japanese. Oh, you mean an accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So like, oh, oh, hi <laughs> I mean, oh, hi uh, Jack Royd. Is that, is that how it goes? And then Chinese would be like, oh, hi, come on in. I show you around. I show you around, you, you know, love you long time. And I help you clean your nail <laughs> and uh, take you out to the market. 
get some dim sum. Oh wait, I'm back to American. <laughs> I know. Like, you said you became like trans American in the middle of your Chinese. You just call me trans. All right. So how dare you tell everyone I'm a they? I wasn't gonna come out yet. I was gonna stick to she and later become she slash they. So how would you introduce yourself in Japanese in truest Japanese accent? <laughs> oh, I'd be like, oh, oh, Hario. <laughs> uh, what? what does she want? What if you were a girl? <laughs> no, for us. What? What if you were a girl <laughs> in Japanese? <laughs> just... And not a man. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I told you I'm gay. You said I was trans. What do you want? You call me trans and you, you expect I'm not, not going to do, do some masculine accent. Okay, so that's a Japanese man. Uh, so a Japanese woman who's maybe like, I guess she's like a teenage girl and she's like 18 or something. She's like, oh, oh, hi, Jackaroid. <laughs> You come over wrong time. <laughs> I uh make you rice, do the stir fry, and we have miso soup. That sounds very Chinese. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know okay. Oh, what can I say? I'm Chinese. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard. You know, that's why I had a hard time in Japanese. I was like, gosh, I just want to learn Chinese. I just like I know. And then every time there was like kanji, which again is just traditional Chinese characters, which is what Cantonese people use, or Taiwanese people. What's up, Taiwanese people speaking Mandarin using traditional uh, characters? But anyway, it would just make me want to learn Canto all the more. So, anywho, I have this app, and I'm learning more Canto. Can, all right, so are you? <laughs> do you have the capacity to do the iteration of Japanese? Can you go to the, to the higher Japanese voice? What are you talking about? There's different Japanese levels. <laughs> so, let's just imagine you're an anime... Oh, you seem like you know more than me. No, I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I don't have the voice. What does it sound like? You don't have the voice? No. I, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't what know. you're talking about. I know Kudasai. Yeah. How would that sound? The Japanese. <laughs> you're like, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Jack. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that Man. is what ls stoner is trying to say i thought long love you long time was south vietnamese i don't know but it was in that cool rap song by what was it two two chains no not two three chains. chains no 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 it wasn't two chains it was like two live crew two live crew another two i got it two live crew you know i accessed that neural pathway right there i did it well since ls420 <laughs> oh, stoner, LS stoner just did that you get this question <laughs> Who in this room is least likely oh, to do charity? Oh, I just that's yours. Can I eat a pepper and answer? <laughs> uh, if you if you want, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna All answer. Right. I'm gonna eat a pepper and then answer. Okay, good. Everyone, guess in the comments who I'm gonna say. Right? Is it me or Jack? <laughs> dun, 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 it's about dun. to get really spicy in here. <laughs> you took a much deeper bite than you needed to on that one. That was not required. <laughs> She's currently getting roasted. She did not expect that. And now she's getting the wieners that she left. Is that hot or what? I told you, you didn't have to go that deep. Okay. You went deep. Guess what, guys, this time. Some of you have seen <laughs> hot, hot live streams before why do i sound like alex primetime 99 all the time on the grind god it's See, so hot you can sound like him but you can't sound like a, a japanese anime girl yeah because those noises are reserved for the man I <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna be able to hold together you went you went too my you went too deep on that pepper i <laughs> you went way too deep on that pepper <laughs> It's so hot. I had a little bit and it was hot. All right, everybody, it's hot ones. Ugh. And now you gotta have a shot one. I now understand all the deepest truths of life. 
We're gonna keep doing shots until you do your your peak anime voice. Everyone, I'm being extorted. Jack's doing stuff like, oh god, I got so hot. Taxation. <laughs> what is exhaustion or slavery effectively think about it what happens when <laughs> you say no dude no government no dude your name's dude <laughs> i'm sorry baby. it's one of your best what if the government's like hey my name's dude what's the next size oh i don't want to say it. is that what you want that's not it but it's close it's a little too high the close as i get <laughs> it <laughs> you freaking freak <laughs> uh, how's that heat holding up huh i didn't finish my sentence from earlier but for those of you who have been yeah. on the hot hot live streams before i went into the devolution that i was like alex stein <laughs> i have milk now lactose free but milk nonetheless would you like to see you're gonna need that huh yeah well it's okay well, cheers to that. And in any case, um, we will keep working our way through these shots and the supports until the anime voice is reached. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness I thought uh, ahead somewhat, even though, sure, I threw away, away the dab sauce. But you know what? The pepper's more fun, isn't it? I think it tastes no, better. No, I think the pepper actually was a wiser move. And it's, it was organic. organic. Yeah. Just like this milk here. Look at that. He's petting a cow. He's like, look at me. I drink a lot of milk. <laughs> <laughs> and this cow, this moo, as Jack likes to call it, these are called moos. That's an adult moo. It's kidding. You don't call it now. I mean, you, you do sometimes. But that's like something you did when you were a kid, right? That's so cute. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. Peppers. So hot, so hot, and I'm gonna pour some milkaroo. As milkaroo, you got the milk. The rakadosa fria. Would you like some milkaroo? Wait, what's on your cup? What's on my cup? You got language. Is that hiragana? No, this is Hebrew. <laughs> you're you're a polyglot. You're a multilingual person. I'm a polyglot. You're a polyglot. Well, good thing. Polyglot. I ain't a polygamist. No. That's right. You heard it live from the philosopher. I'm monogamous. <laughs> That's why I won't do these onokuda sighs in the real voice that I do for anyone. But the jackaroid. It's not, it's not, look, I'm just asking you to do the anime <laughs> acting voice. I'm not here asking you to do like some, you know, onokuda sai thing. I'm not, you know, this is not. We're not we're not doing hentai here. This is just literally just showing your I thought that's actual... what you wanted. Whoops, everybody. I guess I uh yeah, misunderstood yeah. <laughs> everything again. Your actual talent at doing different types of impressions and doing different types of accents. Do you want a wiener? Because your mind's in the gutter. Oh that's why. Now that I have that milk, I'm all better. I'm healed. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers to that. Thanks, LS420. You're awesome. Hope you're well. It's been a while. And say hi to your wife. Okay, that sounds like really scary, but, you know, say hi to your wife. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to your loved ones. If you do it in, like, a New York accent, it sounds like a threat. Go go ahead. Say hi to your wife for me. You know, <laughs> right? Right? It's like the government. Say hi to your wife. But then if you're, like, from the PNW, you're like, hey, say hi to your wife over there. Right? So, so friendly. So friendly. P and up. So friendly. Can't wait to meet the friendly people of Washington. That'll be fun. It will be fun. All right. Well, we're about to have a transition here. Yes, please. At least oh, my gosh. I love phony memes. Like, you love phony memes? Yeah. Get it? Like, fu? Funny? Get it? Funny memes? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yay. Yeah. We're going to do <laughs> do our meme segment here. Woohoo! Do you have that noise? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so We're do that this is Dale to, Dimmadale uh... of. <laughs> Isn't this Dale Dimmadale or no? It's not. <laughs> Dribble. Oh, it's Dale um, Dribble, not Dale Dimmadale. Dale uh, Well, the <laughs> thing is, is that <laughs> we got to do some memes here. 
But all right, we do have at, at eleven. It is going to be the launch of the great bake, bake break the great reset trailer. Oh, so I'm excited. Keep that in mind the background. God. I got to pee really quick. So tackle this meme for a second while I, uh, you know, awesome. Well, and uh, thanks again, everybody. You know, I just want to say I really do like eating the wieners. So when the campaign, you know, goes live or it's technically live now, you know, if you, you want to do 25 on the campaign or more, we'll, we'll take a shot or we'll play that game if you do the super chat of five or higher. And, I, you know, I just realized, um, yeah, I thought, uh, Robert, you did one, too, earlier uh, with the sticker, like way early. But let me. Yeah, uh, maybe we should check that. I'm curious. I got to know. Okay, okay, so here, nope, nope. Okay, so Robert, you're awesome. You've been around, and I'm just, this is for you. I know it's supposed to be five or more, but hey, I want to finish this pepper <laughs> and the hot dog. No, but seriously, thanks. And I want to go look at that sticker before it's too late. Oh, here it is. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, hold up. Okay, we're we're here. Okay, we're on live. Okay, and then watching. Okay, cool. All right, let's. Oh, I see the sticker, Robert. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Okay, you wrote cool, and then it's like this. Nice, dude. You know, but just every time I see those stickers, man, it just really makes my day. I just really appreciate it. So for you, Robert, just gonna eat. Now that I look at it, I don't want to eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna eat half. All right. Wow. A lot of seeds. Mm. So many seeds. Okay. Woo. All right. Valentine's Day was created by Hershey's Chocolate, Hallmark Cards, Jared Jewelers, and the federal government to force us to spend money on our spouses instead of our guns. All right. That's uh. hilarious. It's true. <laughs> anyway, I celebrated anyway. Cool. Uh, and you know what? I supported my local pho restaurant and pho dealer. That's right. I get goi gung and pho on the reg. Because that's what I do. Thanks, mom and dad. Just spoiled me. Just made that delicious fun going going. And I can never, never forget it. All right. Everywhere I go, Ru, I see his face, Ru. <laughs> I know he's not Japanese, but he is, <laughs> like I said, evil Winnie the Pooh. Evil Pooh. Evil Pooh. There he is. All right. Free China and Hong Kong and Taiwan. All right. Me. I'm a libertarian therapist. I'm sure that's taxing. Me. Triggered. <sighs> yeah, so he, you know, Ron Swanson, he can't handle, or any libertarian, I guess. Taxes. Do you know taxation is theft? Or extortion, you could say. It's it's theft via extortion, to be more precise. Long-winded. Long. Long. Um, Long. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that's hilarious. <laughs> It's like screaming. We should do video memes one of these days where there's like audio. We love. That's hot. Very hot. All right. HBO Max. People don't like Velma as a character anymore. People don't like your version of Velma. Right. You know, if uh, those of you haven't heard, uh, she doesn't like Shaggy anymore. She's uh, she's a lesbian. Which. What happened to Shaggy? So cool. That's like they're meant to be. That's like, oh my god, destroying your favorite like canon couple in the show, you know. To nerds everywhere, that's just a cardinal sin. Destroy <laughs> the canon, right? Canon is key. Go to any freaking like anime or comic con and convention. You just ask, right? And it's like, yeah, canon is key. Yeah. All right. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I make another sandwich later? Well, I don't get it. Did he? Oh, and he did because it's dirty. 
you never put it, the the butter knife like just on the counter of the sink because you're gonna make it <laughs> later instead of washing I get it. Get it? <laughs> no, because that's disgusting. I just grab another one. What am I only have one sandwich spreader? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> just kidding that's funny all right just another day spying on americans atf fbi nsa chinese spy balloon that's funny i get it nsa is on the opium fbi is too chinese spy balloon really small really small chinese spy balloon spy and then the atf's always hiding behind the <laughs> ready to shoot your dog oh i get it they're gonna shoot the dog wait is he gonna shoot the nsa because he's gonna shoot dogs but, he doesn't yeah, shoot maybe, cats or right or, yeah Oh, I get it. He's getting ready to shoot. Yeah, if only the ATF was going to go up there. But they don't do that. You know what they do? They collaborate. That's right. The agencies collaborate. We got to end them all. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Normalize taking shortcuts through jewelry stores at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever done this? Okay. I just think that's so funny because especially because the doge over here, it's one of those dogies and the person who like animated this did such a good job with the motion. I just really want to like, like that blur motion there. It's just like, they really like, God, that is like mwah, a plus Mimuru. That's amazing. Amazing. Normalize taking shortcuts through jewelry stores at the bar. <laughs> I'm going to get banned. <laughs> no Japanese accent if you're not Japanese okay well what if, what if it's just a Chinese accent huh huh who are you to tell me I'm not I'm doing a Japanese and not a Chinese accent that's oppressive. all you have to do is identify as Japanese you could say I'm trans you're right <laughs> I am trans Asian not only am I Chinese Canto <laughs> and Viet I'm also Mandarin sometimes in Taiwanese yeah 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 in Singapore yeah you're you're yeah. you're, pan, you're pan malaysia Asian. yeah oh and then in japanese the first thing we were trying to talk about pan-asual pan i'm not gonna say without taxes <laughs> who will pay for the roads the roads <laughs> what is this monstrosity <laughs> oh what what happened where the this must have been fresh <laughs> must have been fresh um well i'm gonna finish this <laughs> exactly what he said a 026 <laughs> oh he said where Wait, donate you're finishing the hot he said where donate five dollars wait who oh. donated oh did anybody whoa whoa you're by wait but who 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 supported this was for robert earlier oh, for robert. Okay. sticker i looked okay. at it it said cool okay just like... making sure just making sure because that's hot stuff you can't just be eating hot stuff like that you're getting a little spicy everywhere. i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry is that hot what sorry Sumi Masen. Sumi Masen. It's so hot. It's very hot. That's why I was like, you should be careful with that. Well, while she's taking a quick break to get more wieners, I would like to uh, bring to your attention that the campaign, again, is over on uh, Indiegogo. So just bear that in mind that once we uh, do that 11 o'clock drop and we watch the video, be sure to get ready get your wallet ready get the card ready because here we go we're gonna drop the hottest track since anti-state which is about a month and a half ago so it's gonna be another good one it's gonna be another banger um well and you, you've heard the song but the actual music video could be a lot of fun i think we really want to do some fun stuff with this if we can um so just get ready for that of course the link igg.me forward slash at forward slash btgr for break the great reset did you guys like the anti-state video let ready. me know let me know get ready i really really enjoyed shooting that video anti-state so I'm excited for this next one break the great reset we have yeah. a, a lot of ideas um for this video we got some fun ideas we're gonna see what we can do Dang. we're gonna see how far we could take it all right that was hot that was hot very hot. So hot. All right. Well, thanks everyone who's done a super chat so far. It's been fun. You know, we made it through one pepper. One pepper. All right. We're going to keep going through these meme roos meme or phony memes. I mean, funny memes. Because when you know how, like, if you pronounce fa, it's fa. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. So, those are the roads. And that just happened. All, All right. right. Let's see the next one. All right, so not Jerome, pal. 
Breaking, the Fed introduces new $1. <laughs> and it's $10. Yeah. Did you know inflation is also theft? And we got to end the Federal Reserve like the good doctor. Dr. Ron Paul likes to say. <laughs> Every time Ron Paul comes out, like just at the protest, just then the anti-war uh, rage against the war machine, it yeah. was called rally. When Ron Paul comes out on stage, just like he did there, there's so many libertarians that are like, or whatever, conservatives, Republicans, whatever. People are just like Ron Paul that are just like, and the Fed, and the Fed. And I do my part every time I see Ron Paul, and I do that. Because you know what? We need to end the Fed, because otherwise we're going to be spending $10 when it used to be a dollar. You know, gas, I remember when gas was like a dollar. And you can probably pinpoint my age at the time. Some of you are like that. You know, you'd be like, oh, when was it a dollar a gallon? Okay, but, and then some of you were like, what, oh, did I you not? Like remember, remember anything? Like boy, you were like, I I didn't remember anything before eighteen. <laughs> no, when I was like a kid, my first memory of like gas is like my mom being like, "Okay, it's twenty dollars to fill her tank." Wasn't she more like it's twenty dollars? That is accurate. She was like, <laughs> "Okay, twenty what twenty dollar and one cent?" Oh my god, so I speak. No, she knows, dude, exactly. and she knows that taxation is that we talked about it. And she was like, what can you do? <laughs> and she's like, oh, we work so goddamn hot. And she's right. We do. And it's just, it's so ridiculous. And, you know, what can you do? You know, it's a long road. And, uh, yes, the state, the government, the federal government especially, has a monopoly on violence. You know, people are taxed to death. Corporations, people, whatever. All different kinds of people. Tax. We got a progressive income tax where you're just punished for being more and more productive and they take more and more of your wealth that you work so hard for you know yeah they got a monopoly on violence and so the way that we must defeat them is an adamant sticking to the truth and exposing any lies that we see and we really got to push for the universal respect of individual body and property rights you know it's that simple it's not that hard i think you have to first just define what body and property rights are, which is the right over yourself, your own body, and the right over your own justly acquired property. That's it, right? So all this stuff about like, oh, government like can gag you. Nope, that's a violation of your property rights and your body, you know, because they threaten you with prison or fines, which is technically a threat against your body because how are you going to pay for your fines, right? You you got to use your body to work and pay off those fines. So it's all extortionary. You know, it's, it's one big mafia. Governments are mafias. They really are. So, yeah, thanks all for being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, we're going to go through another meme. Wife. Wait, did you seriously just blow all our money on Emma again? <laughs> okay, me. <laughs> A, it was an accident. B. <laughs> I do not recall. See, you look pretty today. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> D, you bet I did. Okay, D is the best. Cause that's just like honest, right? Owning it. I think D is always the best. I know I'm not supposed to choose, but I think that's hilarious, the options. Does I that mean, go D through your great. mind? Making the D is always a good choice. Yeah, Jack always goes, like with the D, he always goes, you bet I did. He always goes with the D. Okay. Memes of 2023. January <laughs> train. Oh, I get it. <laughs> right. In January that it was all about the trains, you know, riding the train, being trained. Whew. Yep. Paid for by your tax dollars and balloons. All right. When the squad get ready to go out and be oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Elon Omar. Let me see. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do you work for IMAX? Because that is some serious projection. That is like the best meme to send to somebody <laughs> in like a first date or something. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh. So good. I love that meme. I this love is like memes. this is my favorite meme so far. <laughs> right, because it's like psycho. It, it just resonates with me so much. Do you work for IMAX? Because that is some serious projection. 
<laughs> right? Like you sh- don't even respond to someone next time you're in the comments on Twitter or something. Just put put that meme. Put it. All right, that's awesome. Stolen. <laughs> All right. In the 80s, we knew how to party. There was a button for Mega Base. Mega Base. I didn't even know. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I remember Mega Base. Oh, you do? What is that? A Walkman? Uh, Yeah. It's, it's a more modern one. It's, like a, it's actually like they're saying 80s, but honestly, this looks more like a 90s model, Sony. Hmm. You know? Hmm. That, I mean, Interesting. I think- like early nineties, because I, I mean, to me, that definitely huh. looks like a. You recognize 90s, that I, device? I do. I recognize that from wow. yeah, the nineties, like definitely the, all these switches and dials. Oh, wow. Like the eighties was had a lot more boxy stuff. Like everything was a lot more <laughs> oh, wow. square. Sorry, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Everything was more square. <laughs> yeah, it oh. was. It was. Oh, Jackaroo. Oh, uh, Jackaroo. <laughs> Jackaroo. Oh, Jackaroo. <laughs> No, I'm not Jackaroo. Jackaroo. I'm Faru. Faru. I'm Fachan. Fachan. <laughs> okay, my mom. Psh. Me, my perfectly valid argument. Ah. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh my gosh. You. For nine months. Who Pick can relate? Up. Who can relate? Don't talk back. Don't talk back to your elder. I carry you for nine months. You carry me nine months. <laughs> No. Well, exactly. That's why your argument is now invalid. Invalid. It's an invalid. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you so much, David. Wow. That's a really interesting photo. It kind of freaks he, me out. Legitimate... What movie is that from? It kind of is like freaked me out over here. Hey, what's up, Breaking the Flaw? Um, hey, Breaking the Flaw. Why you hate this so deeply? Like, Yeah. Like once you have some milk on your side, like basically you have defense. So in honor of David, I will eat. David, of this. woo! All I, right, you can finish it. I'm not finishing this. this. Is death? I can't eat the whole thing. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, they, look at this. Okay, well I'll help you. I'll help you. You'll help. You're not gonna help me. This is terrible. It's I mean, for David. Look at that. That's like pure, <laughs> pure seed. You, you don't want any sabret wieners. Sabret. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. Okay. Hey, someone wrote, I hope you all come up for pork fest this year. Oh, we are. We are going. Literally. Speaking of. Yeah, that's right. Earlier, we talked about coming to the 20th year anniversary. Oh, that's right. We're going to be at the bonfire. Oh, my God. We're going to be dancing around the bonfire like. Oh, sweet Lord. I want you to end the fed. Wow. Not the creature from Jekyll Island. It's time to get out of death. <laughs> I need these beds. We'll probably have an impromptu concert. Uh, if you're at Pork Fest and you have a oh, I a plan stage on it. or mics. It's just me hanging out. Okay, go. it's not even a concert. It's just like you want to watch. Give okay, us, cool. But I'm just dancing around the fire. Let's have at it. We're gonna go at it. Woo! But I yes, we are. We are being. At, we're gonna be at Pork Fest. Sorry, this is hot, and I'm really trying to hold on. That's what I've got. Mm. All right, Tracy Robinson, oh, aka God. for City Council in Jacksonville, Whoa! aka. Wow. So, um, and also an amazing Macley cosplayer. We so, should have him on the show. We oh well, I've had him on my show. He was one of my uh, earliest guests. Actually, we should have him on the show in should, person. Oh, in person, yes. That's, Tracy, that's a great idea. Tracy is a Florida man. He is running. For city council <laughs> of District 9 in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, that's right. We are in the town and we eat spice. And then you know what we do when we're done? Yeah, when the sun's out, we land the sun. Ain't that right, Tracy Robinson? Roll the you chance. make it sound like as if he's like in Alabama, but it's, it's just Jacksonville. It's We're pretty, Floridians. It's We're city. allowed to talk like this. Whew. I moved here at like Six years ago, I'm allowed to talk like I'm, I mean, I'm allowed to talk is, like it this. It is very far south. I'm allowed to finally make music like this. Dang, dang, no, dang, no, dang, no, dang, no, no, you know, and sit out on the porch in the fucking in the sun. Oops. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> the porch, These wieners are a hot. Porch fest because it literally is all porches. It's literally a whole bunch of tents. <laughs> oh man, 
good. Okay. So, Sorry, Tracy. Wow. Thank you so much. I feel like we're getting fun together and we're going to uh, next time. Okay. We are. All right. She says the government. The government who? Okay. Oh. The government is the cause of all forms of violence, including racism, bigotry, et cetera. We're forced into a sandbox to sow the seed of division and conflict. With taxation, we all become physically complicit in terrorism. It hurts, but it's so true. Like I saw this meme that was like, here you are and you're a little star, right? In the galaxy, paying taxes to pedophiles like Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Uh, and then you wake up every day and you're like, oh my God, I just gotta, I, I don't know. I just gotta spread liberty, uh, you know? And every day is like a process. Okay. I love y'all too. Oh, so see, you know y'all, that, that we have to do the Southern. Dab, right? Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, Tracy? This is right, for so you. you. You give it to me. Okay, this is for Jack. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Pick one person here who's not going to be <laughs> one of your groomsmen or bridesmaids. Uh, but should we pick a different one? Yeah, because, that's not gonna work. All right, next. You one. know, we're married and yeah. All right. <laughs> You're, you know, we're married and, you know, <laughs> you know, okay, truth. Who here thinks their jokes are funnier than they are? You oh. better not. Oh, that's easy. Answer. That's the truth. I got this. <laughs> the answer is fuck. <laughs> answer is truth is fuck. Oh, I and feel so rotary. I will drink to that. I feel so rotary. I'm going to go uh. cry room in my room and that one is to my boy tracy thank you so much also yeah, tracy that's is so awesome. true though i mean i i'm the first to admit it i'm not that funny <laughs> <laughs> i mean i take things so literally You're it's hard in training it's hard it's hard when you take things literally you know what i mean and you just want to like and you're like oh yeah what's the literal meaning of this and you're like oh wait comedy is not meant to be it's abstract sometimes and to someone like me an estj that's like so annoying i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> everything has definitions and it's clear what do you mean so anyway but i think jack's funny that was good that was good it was it was good it was truthful it was absolutely <laughs> and that does remind me i need to find um because we have we have another one right now um i want to Ooh, bless me. Sorry, bless I'm getting like that last pepper is is percolated. So um, <laughs> Tracy right here has got. Thank you so much. Oh, show a person thanks, Tracy. Yes, that's right. North floor is what's left. Okay, it's my fine. turn. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna post down below real quick. Um, not there's not too many politicians that who I um, who I like obviously, as you might know. Um, I I usually hate most all of them. Do you like Ron Paul? Oh, he's yeah, not like a politician anymore. He's not. He's, yeah, he's just all that now. But I love Tracy. So I just want to post <laughs> down here, uh, support Tracy down below, um, because he is one of the few people who I actually admire and believe in. So I just put a link to every single place. So again, if you are a Floridian or you just want to see someone Especially in Liberty if you're in Jacksonville succeed, uh, that's where he's running. Right. He's one of the, I think he's one of the rarest people because not only does he, do the talk but he actually walks the walk and has done stuff like actually filling in potholes out of his own dollar literally filling in potholes in jacksonville and showing people how it can be done actually volunteerism in action so uh to me his work is worthy and i think it you know as far as when i talk to other people when they say oh what should i be doing what should i emulate i point to him there's a, there's very few people i would point to but Tracy is a person I point to. Um, Spike is another person I point to. Yeah, Ron Paul's definitely. another person I point to. There's very few people I'd ever point to. But uh, Tracy actually puts his mouth and his money and his word where his you know principles are and does it. So I just throw that you know through his link down there, Ron Tracy for Jacks.com. He is actually the real deal. So it's I and I don't I I mean I really I don't like doing that normal. I'm not a big political fandom person. But Tracy is a person who absolutely is worth your time, worth following, and worth supporting. Absolutely. So, yeah. And um, I just want to read <clears throat> uh, his comment there, uh, Tracy's comment. Yeah. Uh, he said, a show in person, great idea. Yes, that'd be awesome. And North Florida is what's left of the good Southern swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these Mi <laughs> right, North Miami and <laughs> Tampa people. Oh, Tampa too, right? And or no, not Orlando, too touristy. 
Um, Orlando's a yeah shit show. It's, too, it's a mix there. Too internet, right? But but you still get like but central. On that note, so Tracy central, did so. twang twang do Not the next card. So <laughs> you get the next. Oh one. okay. Uh, what's the most truth. Embarrassing job you ever had. Ah, uh, what's the most embarrassing job? Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, that's not a spicy one. Um. All right. I would say truth. Okay. Uh, embarrassing. Okay, probably the most embarrassing was when it was my first job, and I was a helper clerk, or uh, I forgot what it was called. Every store has their own little like. Oh yeah, it was a courtesy clerk, right? There's all different kinds of names, but I had to like get the cards and stuff like that. And I just think the worst part of it all, gosh, was having to be on bathroom duty. Oh, that's the worst. That's just like, no, <laughs> no. And I lived, and I mean, I lived near and I worked in the city where it was like, you know, regularly people would come in and they didn't really respect the property. And I had to clean the men's bathroom sometimes. And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad. All right, now you get a house, a everybody. Get a house. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> that was probably just. And then I oh, was so motivated from there. The I'm like, never again. So yeah. And, uh, long story short, I'm not a coder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, Tracy. I hope you'll be at the Ron Paul meetup. Uh, next, yeah, next month. It's like, uh, Ron Paul Revolution meetup or what is it? Uh, oh. Forever free, yeah, foreverfree.com. It's like the people who were the original, like Ron Paul activists back in 2008 and 2012, you know, for Ron Paul, they're got all gonna meet up again. And then we're gonna table at the Mesa's Caucus table. So, yeah, I'm tabling for the Mesa's Caucus will be great. And uh, yeah, so hope to see you there. Um, if not somewhere else, uh, like Pork Fest, right. The 20th year anniversary. Man, we got a lot of stuff going on. We also got the Break the Great Reset music video, which actually we're going to launch the campaign and watch the video for in eight minutes. So we're almost there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. We got, yep, the Mises Caucus tabling for Ron Paul people. Oh, I'm so excited to meet all the different people there. And Always excited to meet new people in the liberty movement, especially those that have been like OGs and were libertarian before me. Um, those are like my favorite people to meet because if you're still a libertarian, volunteerist, anarchist, what have you, after all this time, like, you know, you you probably really believe the principles. So it's really cool. I mean, I'm excited to meet some of these OG liberty people. So that's uh, in Sarasota, Florida coming up in March 12th, I think around that time. And then we also got LP Washington, where we actually uh, were headlining for the Libertarian Party there. So I'm so excited for that convention. Um, so cool to be headlining for a P and Dub event. So 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 excited. And then we got Pork Fest. Just never been to New Hampshire. Really excited, especially after watching the NBC special, <laughs> which I recommend watching. It's definitely yeah, a hit piece by like I would say like. SJW Democrats. And they're like, they're like, oh, you 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 can't like disarm, like not disarm everybody. We we gotta keep everyone disarmed. How dare you wanna free everybody? Oh, how dare you wanna cut the budget on taxes and property taxes? You know, they're just these people, they just want control. All right, soon we will launch the video. Very We're gonna soon. continue on these memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh i hate this i have so many memories this is triggers now like my leg my shin literally feels pain in the right side okay don't talk to me after i hit my leg on this because i'm gonna have an attitude <laughs> gosh those are the worst that's why you don't get those metal frames for your beds right that's true you don't jack and i have a soft plushy one you know because even right. if you bump into it, it's like oh no big <laughs> deal Just, okay Whatever. I, I hear some boomer guy right now being like, oh, wimp. Oh. Anyway, whatever. All right. Number of days to 1 million and 100 million users by technology. <laughs> Whoa. So you have Twitter, Netflix, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram. Wow. Chat GB. Someone so just Instagram sent was us the a, fastest. It was pretty fast. Yeah. But ChatGBT, remember someone's 
uh, that is well i could say chaz he sent us I mean, a chat gpt sense. of us <laughs> that was pretty funny oh are we allowed to do that I uh we can't but just later we, we have enough time right now yeah right, we'll we, do have, it later, we only maybe. have five minutes until launch okay well our friend like i don't know what prompt did he ever answer you what prompt he fed into it um, no he never answered me ah, yeah, i want to yeah. know but he yeah. apparently used it to like make some rap and it was like there was no swear words nothing about sex or drugs or whatever it was very clean christian rap <laughs> and uh yeah i like it <laughs> i should put over a track and just make a reel for the heck of it that'd be funny all right adam great at adam great tweet if by picking up hearties at the club you mean going to costco for a rotisserie chicken then yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that Get is it, how I'm chicken or hotties. Oh, I'm definitely getting some hotties to clip. That's hilarious. Oh, I get it. Sam's Club. Okay. <laughs> Costco. Okay. They have taken the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Is this a 007 take remake? No, it's taken the movie, but then they made oh, it to. to I don't this. think I've seen that movie. Oh, okay. My B. Employees, we want 50 an hour at McDonald's. Yeah. So. You know, that's what happens. <laughs> technology becomes more efficient. Okay, the thin blue line FUD, when he gets red flagged and learns who comes to take it. Hey, I <laughs> thought you were on my side. All right, I don't know why. A southern accent. I hope that is just a misspelling. <laughs> Mini donuts. Donuts? Oh, Mini dog nuts. <laughs> oh, they missed the U and the H. Would I thought it was the babies nuts? was the misspelling. Would I eat dog I nuts? I wouldn't eat dog nuts. Oh, like if they misspelled it, yeah. would it just like psychologically make you like, mm -mm. Mm. what if it really was like dog nuts? <laughs> and then you get, and they're like, we, what did you think it was? We literally put dog nuts, right? <laughs> right? Like you couldn't even be mad. You couldn't even sue. Couldn't do that. All right. This is Ice Cube. Cruising down the street in my six foe. <laughs> cop and a D. I mean, cop and a B. Smacking them hoes. Smacking them H's. Smacking All right. them H's. That's hilarious. I got that one because uh, I know that rap song. Okay. Therapist, who's going on in your head or what's going on in your head right now? <laughs> Who? What's going on in your head right Jack? What's going on in your head right now? Me. My mind is like an internet browser. 17 tabs are open. Four of them are frozen. <laughs> And I don't know where the music is coming from. That's a good one. I love that one. I'm going to take that one. These are great. Thanks, Jack. Jumbo Steam Dump. H -mart. <laughs> oh, gosh. I would totally pick that up. And that's not bad. Look at this. Look at the First of all, look at the ingredients. Let's read it, right? Wheat, flour, Chinese noodles, mung bean sprouts, radish, cabbage. What is that? Shout it, shit, shooting, shouting. Shouting? Sh Shouty? Shouting. Shouty. Shouting. <laughs> I can't read it. Shouting. Okay. Welsh onion, leek, soy sauce, carrot. So if you're just against estrogen and soy, I get it. You might not want the soy sauce, but otherwise, wow. There are no seed oils. That's the dump. <laughs> oh, no seed oils. Seed oils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. And it's only $6.99 for six. What a deal. Is this back in the 90s? There's no prices like that for dumps. All right, me. I need to fix my sleeping schedule. Me at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Yoda. <laughs> uh, so cute. Is that me or you? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Okay. I breathe there for you. I pump up for you. I filter ways for you. Buy another air again. <laughs> <laughs> All Always right, we got one minute. We got one minute. Hold on. We got one the minute. The right thing We to got do. one minute. Oh, my gosh. We got one minute. We got, oh, my God. I don't even know what we're going to do. Oh, 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 my God. We got uh, one minute. Well, we'll just go over how, okay, we're going to launch the campaign soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> and if you do, so 25 right Daru on the campaign. 25 Daru. We will take a shot. Will we play the game again? Or I don't no? know what's going on Let's right now. Let's do the truth or dad I don't game know what I can also do. for campaign contributions. I'm so lit. Can we? Can we do the truth? Yes, we can do it. I, we, yeah, we're doing it. Why not? I want to eat peppers. This premiere start. Why is this I want to eat peppers and weed. Why is this not loading? <laughs> Premiere begins shortly. Why is it loading? Because it's not eleven yet. Wait, does it start? Wait, does the countdown start at eleven? I'm so confused. It I probably starts at eleven. I thought it's supposed to be. Look, we can type in the chat. Hey, Hayes, look, look. What's up, Steven? What's up? You should... Oh, I have to sign it. No, I can't oh, type in right okay. now. Okay, it's supposed to start at eleven. It's eleven. What the heck? 
Don't worry, it'll start soon. 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 <laughs> oh, wait, here it goes. Oh. Okay. Can they hear the audio? Yes. Whoa, that's new. New waiting screen. Who dis? Who dis? <laughs> I'm just trying to make Jack laugh. That's what I've been doing our whole relationship. Can you imagine every day trying to make Jack laugh? It's so hard. This guy's like, ha oh, oh, you think you're funnier than you are. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This isn't it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, how long is this supposed to go for? I don't even know. I don't know, but this is not the video, just so you know. What does that say, D Glizzy? Does that say Glizzy? Alright, I'm turning down the volume so that way it's not like it's obnoxious. Not obnoxious. Sorry, 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 everybody. Sorry. I'm it's sorry. so obnoxious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We probably need something like NordVPN to find it. What up, uh, hey Kareem, what's up? What up? What up? <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready for this launch. I don't. It's supposed to launch. I don't know when it's going to launch. I thought it was supposed to be five minutes before. What the heck? What is this? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I set the settings to five minutes of this loading before the launch, not at the launch. Hmm. <sighs> well. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, and well, there's look. no countdown. There was supposed to be a countdown. I don't know. I thought I set it to a countdown. Oh. I'm confused. Oh well, it looks new. Maybe. Next time, folks. Well, uh, well, whoever's here, what's up, Gary? Yeah, once it launches, I guess. Hey, Gary. So this, yeah, this premiere's launched. It's going. Some people might be watching it independently. But if you're here, you're watching it with us. Waiting for it to actually go. So we're just, once it actually goes, we're going to... All right, in the meantime. I am the anti-state. You're my loss. I will break. Your turn. I <laughs> You're so funny. All right. I'm wow, Jack, your voice is so nice. It is. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm still so, uh, uh, anyway, okay. which was your favorite meme? <laughs> Is this gonna be a five minute wait? Someone's uh, like, you'll never fool me. Oh, there's no way to speed it? No, because I set the timer and I thought it was gonna be a loading five minutes, not, oh, it starts at five minutes. Nobody told me this. Dude, dude. All right, well, in the meantime, cheers. cheers. We're gonna cheers to the launch of yet another song together. Cheers, aka cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers to you watching. Shalom. <laughs> okay, did I say it wrong? See, that's like me saying no, Japanese stuff. But yeah. Okay, sorry. L'chaim <laughs> to life. <laughs> to a long life. To a long island. <laughs> Alright, we're going to launch a movie in tents. I think it's a five minute wait, so it's going to be 11.05 instead of 11, I thought. Wait, can we see the comments on the stream? Wait, minimize. We could, them. I guess. Let's just see. Anyone? And did you want closed captions on? Do you want uh, do, I don't know. Do, no, I don't want closed no. captions on. And did you want autoplay on? Did you want a, an autoplay on the very far left? I don't want annotation. Where? Far left, far left. Yeah. yeah. It's on. Okay, it's off now. Yes. Wow. Impressive. Oh, uh, LS420 Stoner pointed out in that video that they tapped a uh, content label warning on this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. The they, break the great look, reset. Yeah, because wow. we, we talk about the Great Reset, of course, YouTube's already trying to, you know, make the Great Reset look like it's something, uh, you know, benign and ethical and all this other nonsense. So that's exact, and that's exactly why we're doing this video, all right? Like, I mean, literally, if you <laughs> if you see them over at YouTube trying to, oh, well, this is what the Great Reset really is. Yeah, you know exactly what's going on. Right. Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to get no. How long is it? No, it's good. It's tough. No, please. Oh, look, it's Let almost go. been five minutes. Let go. 
Oh my gosh. I was just checking. Don't worry. Don't I'm so worry. Oh, here it is. Nine. Here we go. Eight, yeah. seven, Woo. six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse great. Pulse great. They want you to eat the bugs. They want you to own nothing. And if you don't comply, they will end your life. They call it the Great Reset, but we're going to break it. Join with me and let's make our voices heard with my next music video, Break the Great Reset. It's time we rally in a culture of resistance against the evil World Economic Forum and their tyrant supporters around the world. It's time we join together to break free. World Economic Forum Great Reset. Nothing great about these guys on a quest of theft. Want to put you in a pod, make you starve to death. Turn your children into slaves and exploit what's left. Klaus Schwab, Goon Squad, Black Robes and Crests. Illuminati concepts, New World Order chess. You're the carbon they want to reduce. Sterilize the masculators so you can't reproduce. Uh, I will not go along with the Great Reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evilness. I will not go along with the Great Reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evilness. King Charles coming with the green recovery. Except the only green they want is a CBDC. Central bank digital currency. A spyware to control every transaction scene. Agenda 2030, nobody's free. Trudeau, Bill Gates, United Nations tag team. Social credit system, neo-feudal slavery. Refuse to get the shot, flag force quarantine. I will not go along with the Great Reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evilness. I will not go along with the Great Reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. And I will not bow down to their evilness. We work it harder and harder to our smuggle state. Parallel economy, a change of fate. Fourth industrial rev, their plan to take. Every liberty left, your life is slave. Cut through Malthusian lies, learn the truth. They create in scarcity, banning fossil fuels. So don't give an inch, my precious jewel. Break the great reset, we cannot lose. So yeah, I like that song a lot. And uh, yeah, that's like the anthem of the year. You know, we got to break the great reset. That's right. And uh, we're definitely going to have that play in at a lot of events this year. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so thanks. yeah. We did. We, yeah, we got to the launch. Woo! Woo! So uh, we are funding now. That's what we are funding with Indiegogo. It's the music video. We right. recorded the song. It's all done. It's all full and re ready and all produced and ready for us to make a music video. So yeah, we're going to host this for 60 days. Our goal is 10,000. We really want to make uh, a good video for this um, and have a lot more props. I think with anti-state, you know, we really leveraged the scenery. And as you, if you saw it, you know, we had one outfit consistent the whole time. And if you've seen my other videos, usually I have like several wardrobe changes and some outfits and then a lot more props. So that would be the goal with this one is if we can reach goal, then we can also have an actor. Um, that's going to be Klaus Schwab. So I'm going to be chasing Klaus Schwab. I don't know exactly where yet. Where we haven't chosen exactly the city, but uh, it's going to be chasing Klaus Schwab around somewhere. So somebody's going to, someone bald and presumably mm -hmm. German looking, <laughs> aka what? Uh, <laughs> what? Will be dressed up as Klaus Schwab wearing a villainous black, you know, triangle outfit as he wears as they were at the World Economic Forum. So I'm really excited. Uh, if you want to support, if you support here, we're going to paste the link in the chat right here. It's uh, igg.me slash 
BTGR, the acronym for Break the Great Break Reset. Break the Great Reset. So yeah, check that out. And uh, any sub, uh, 25 plus on the campaign, we will take a shot and also do right, the truth lit. or dab. Yes. So and this is a really Trisha. exciting uh, song, I think, because so the last one obviously was me and her. This one I'm not actually going to be um, on the track because I didn't sing any part of this. I wanted her to have right, her not own even solo. any background this time. No, no. So I'm just yeah. going to work on the on the production side, you know, which I often do. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, helping make sure everything goes smoothly with all the production elements and getting right, the props together, it. directing all the stuff, yeah. you know, just coordinating. Um, but I will say, you know, <laughs> after this, uh, you know, song. There is another song that we have. It's another sequel to this where I will be on. It's going to be sick as well. So oh, don't worry. The, I really like that one. The bangers but... are going to keep coming. We have some amazing music uh, to follow up. With yeah, this year. This one. This year. Yeah, this yes. won't be the only music no. video and song we release this year. There'll right. Be more yeah. To come. We're going to be, you know, working on. I'm not sure about the music video part, but at oh, least, at at least, least the another music song. Part. Yeah. Um, and this music video obviously is important because with you know, the World Economic Forum and Klaus Schwab and what's been going on where they're trying to initiate, you know, the, the steps toward Agenda 2030 and get everybody, you know, basically forced into cities, living in smaller and smaller spaces. Getting, you will live in the bad right. and you will own the nothing. Right. And getting people to just live on a rent system, no longer actually owning anything, um, having them eat horrible foods and, and eventually, you know, becoming paupers right. and like really pushing this new feudal slavery. We really want to rally the culture. Um, uh, up to the level that we did with Mask Order, which was very successful. You know, Mask Order, um, that music video, I think on YouTube alone is well over 120,000 views. Plus, it's been on multiple channels and stuff like that. So, we don't even know what the total is. But I think that was, was that um, um, one of the la or last music videos we did that had me solo? Like, it was Mask Order. Mask and Order then was we did, solo. Uh, Disobey, and I did not Disobey consent. was with me. I did not consent it was me. Yeah. So, yeah. Mask Order was the last one that was and you and solo. I stayed, and I yeah. shot Mask Order myself. So, um oh you're that was a very low that was budget so too. good mask order we had set the you lowest budget so good i know it was like we had the, such a small budget for that i think one, to the, I, I the professional eye you might be able to tell yeah. that like it's not the same as like anti-state quality no, or not. like um uh and cap grind no yeah for we, example yeah. or i did not consent but in any case it was really good i thought it was great the yeah, motions right. you know the the lights the <sighs> the red and the blue you did so good. i tried my best with the parameters i had for the budget. <laughs> so yeah. yeah that was one of our earlier uh yeah. earliest videos so that was really cool but uh hey yeah. Sean says mask order got me mask order is my number one uh viewed video on my youtube mm -hmm. it's over one hundred and sixteen thousand yeah. now i mean 120 Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. 120. Last I checked. Yeah. Cool. I mean, yeah, and I saw it like go around in different circles, like not just oh, like yeah. libertarians, but, you know, going all the way to mm -hmm. like, you know, just people who are beginning to be skeptical about what's going on. Right. Um, yeah. It was really cool to just see the wide range of people it, it uh, attracted. So um, I think Break the Great Reset really reminds me of that. And it's like an anthem. I mean, I love the right. chorus. You know, it's just like <laughs> trying to get everyone connected together, like all your neighbors, your community, your local community, the whole United States, worldwide, Japan, <laughs> we China, <laughs> Australia, Australia. Worldwide, we will win. <laughs> that was the thing. Hey, Caps, worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sharper4221 said, Mask Order got me through some tough times. I, no, oh, that means a lot. Honestly, that's that means awesome. a lot. That's really cool. Um, can I mention Danny McAdams? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I... no, you can mention Danny McAdams. Okay, that. cool. Yeah, yeah I actually was interviewed. Of course, I was on the Ron Paul show, and uh, Dan, I, I was um, standing in for Ron uh, back when he had, you know, ever he had that scare. You're the only person, but... and this is actually kind of crazy. You're the only person to have ever <laughs> stood in for Ron Paul on on live report she's literally the yeah. only person to have ever actually stood i would have loved Paul to co-host i gotta a say time of uh emergency yeah i, I would have loved to co-host for sure mm -hmm. but it was it was pretty neat of an opportunity i mean it's yeah. it was sad really cool. that it was for that reason right. but um nonetheless i appreciate dan daniel mcadams for telling me that he really liked that song he said um <laughs> he was like oh i love this song you know i listened to it all the way to the gym and it gets me like pumped <laughs> and just like willing to just be strong and like disobey like these things that were just strictures over our bodies like from the lockdowns to the mask orders to needing to get a vaccine just so you could 
go outside or go get groceries or go to a restaurant or whatever transact in the market um so yeah i'm just really happy that that impacted you and and helped you through some tough times it definitely helped me through some tough times too (laughs) i mean we are literally uh, the governments around the world are waging i mean that's what this whole song is about you know it's um governments of the world are collaborating and working together to enslave their populations once and for all and to stifle all of the talks of liberty that have exploded since internationally people from around the world could actually be connected online where you actually have technology that translates from Chinese to, <laughs> to English or whatever, you know, translating things to your language that you speak and being able to, to learn about other cultures in the world, like, and actually unite on common ground, on common values, shared values with people around the world. And the government doesn't like that. They don't like the collaboration of, of liberty-minded people around the world. Why not? Why would they? It's literally a threat to their power. I mean, liberty-loving people literally don't want them to have power. They're like, uh, your power is illegitimate, so you shouldn't have it. So, of course, these people are like holding on to, to their power as much as they can. You know, and they will do whatever they can get away with they think that or that they think they can get away with to stay in power and so you know that's what we're up against this is hundreds and hundreds of years some of these people come from long bloodlines of families that are in power i mean you look at the freaking british royal family what is that a a literal long bloodline of people of family passing down like hey you got the right to rule by the way and you should keep you know Mm -hmm. here's the tactics for maintaining power and control and manipulating the public and hiding whatever we do Mm -hmm. you know like your brother prince andrew or whatever right so yeah so solo here says (laughs) this is a very important question hey guys for question first time doing it for kp like like yours is it preferable to give the money through super chat link definitely the link because yes the link yes we obviously we get more uh, obviously support through there and that's the whole goal the whole goal is is to be on the campaign and to actually and you'll you know, get perks and, here and so to iterate that. definitely right. choose some perks like and we're going to go over those perks. would love to right. you know sign something and send it to you It'd be awesome don't worry mm-hmm. we don't give your information to the atf no yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the nsa i'm just kidding no. um <laughs> i'm just joking but yeah so uh, with that in mind like for the actual campaign itself we have a lot of um you know perks we've done before and some new stuff so the behind the scenes teaser um typical thing we we usually do a little shoot where we show what we're doing uh where we're actually shooting the video yes and so you get emailed that so five dollars it's like super cheap you can you know if you just like want to show a little bit of support get on in there and like get to see what's going on production do that it's you know an easy way to go. I mean, anybody can pretty much do $5 and that does help. Like we really appreciate every single level because every little bit gets us closer to doing what we really want to do, which is we want to have a high quality videographer, which ideally we want to use the same videographer from the last music video. Yes. And we actually want to have Klaus Schwab um, mimicked um, Mm -hmm. with his outfit. And to do that, we have someone in mind who can actually do the wardrobing uh, properly and we need the resources just basically take some pre-existing uh, wardrobe things and combine them and create the patches. And all that yeah, stuff. and so, pay him for his time. Right. Course. So we need to do yeah. those things right. And that does cost a bit of money. Of course, if you're making a custom outfit, um, it, it, it's going to cost money. But we want to just do at least a couple of those things right where it's really hilarious and exciting to watch it and very believable. So, yeah. again, any little thing helps us get close to there. We have a break the, break the rate reset teasers. sticker. <laughs> um so and everything stacks up you pretty, pretty much. much yeah everything stacks up so when With you go up in the tiers you get yeah. more and more so we have a sticker it'll be you know a nice uh die cut sticker um uh, that's uh 20 here and that artwork with that cool. album art right oh, so cool and the album art sewer i mean come on that's freaking sick right yeah look you at ha- that you literally art. have this, this custom art you know, the cloud of schwab in the background being smashed right yeah so it, it, it's some cool stuff it's <laughs> some cool it. stuff um, we have the signed set photo. So we like, you know, have a photo from the actual shoot that's that we sign here and then send to you, um, a coaster. So, uh, for this type of campaign, we have kind of like, um, a cardboard, but it's laminated coaster. So super cool. Um, right, it's like got with that custom logo on there. 
Exactly. We had that for anti state. Those actually came out pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I still use mine for yeah, anti state. Yeah, definitely yep. could work as a, a nice coaster. Uh, we have an art print. So we're going to do, um, I believe it will be an eight by eight inch art print, a nice art print. So you can hang up the actual artwork here with the, you know, Break the Great Reset with Klaus Schwab being smashed and the, and the sheep and stuff like that, along with the sticker and the photo and the teaser, you know, set behind the scenes. Awesome. Then we have the roll credit. Um, this is one of our most popular perks uh, in the past. Uh, yeah, so for the ending, right? Right. So yeah, a lot of people right. love to just, you know, support and have themselves promoted in the, you know, video. It's, I mean, I love it. You know, I myself, I've supported stuff where you see your name in the credits. It feels cool to be in the credits and to know you're part of supporting something awesome. So if you're like, hey, yeah, I want to, you know, promote myself or promote my website or whatever, go for it. We have both yeah. a no physical perks option. And this is really good if you're like, you know, especially international people where it's like our shipping is really expensive. You're like, eh, it's, it's too much. Just do the no physical perks. That way you can get your name in there without having the extra expenses of having to ship, especially if you're international. But if you're, you know, especially US side, um, there's a discount if you get the physical perks too. So in other words, if you get the roll credit with physical perks, you're getting that roll credit plus the physical perks at a cheaper rate. So in other words, by going up this level, you're going to get a discount and everything else that's listed. So that's the art print. Awesome. You know, you get the the photo, sticker, um, coaster, and all that good stuff. Right. We'll sign the set photo. Right. Cool. Then there's a signed T-shirt. Um, so we would both uh, sign a T-shirt, a really nice. Um, we would do it through Libertarian Country, um, one of our business, you know, partners, and it'd be a, that yeah. whole artwork on a shirt, so it looks sick. Um, and then you get that right, signed by us with everything art, else. The center and printed right. in color. Exactly. So, so it's, it's really super cool. cool signed shirt. And then there's the big ones where it's, you know, you're an executive producer. Um, we've typically had uh, at least one executive producer in our last few music videos. Um, so if you're like, you know, want to have at the end of the, the video or you want to actually be like the front roll and you, you know, you want to be like right there front and center, um, you definitely can do that. We had CJ roasting. Oh, uh, that was cool for anti-state. Right. Like I actually now my association with my own video is cjroasting.com mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's like anti-state and then it's like present right. like in really nice lettering too. It's like mm -hmm. cjroasting.com, but it's great. It's subtle. It's part yeah. of it. Yeah. So it's it. like if you want to promote your, your brand or your business or whatever, and you know, just be a part of that, um, you, you could definitely do that with the opening yeah. executive producer credit. So I just want to say thank you to everyone in all the past videos that have done right, we've always had at least one mm -hmm. executive producer. So it's so cool to just see that people want to be part of that history of what we're making and uh, want to be, you know, part of these videos that we make and, and the message that we're trying to send. So let's just want to say thank you to everybody that really has believed in us. So Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's the campaign. Thanks for going through the perk. So if you want to check through that, check out the perk there. It's igg.me slash at slash btgr break the great reset right so yeah check it out and uh, yeah, yeah we need we'll someone to break checking. the ice we need we need a hero to break the ice because right now we, <laughs> we just opened up we need we need yeah we need that ice break whoa, 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 I need a hero. okay hey. and we're gonna get started yeah well we're Not also gonna met a message past you know backers in the past um campaigns too so we'll we'll let people know from the past uh few music videos that we did that this has just been launched but obviously the closer we can get to, you know, getting up to goal, the better because, you know, it kind of steamrolls, the more support we get, the more we get traction in Indiegogo's metrics because Indiegogo looks at campaigns and algorithmically, if there's a lot of supporters, they start to push your campaign up to the top. So we'd love to get some organic, you know, views and stuff like that there too. So anything that people can do, again, even if you have change of spare, just sharing it to your social media, you know, whether it's a YouTube channel or your own blog you know, Telegram, whatever, you know, just getting the word out there. Because if we can, you know, do this music video, we just love being able to push the culture in the direction of liberty. And uh, as we've seen that many times with other stuff, that it definitely has an impact on inspiring people and helping to shape that cultural revolution. So definitely. Yeah. I, I really thought like Mask Order did really well. I mm -hmm. mean, a big part of it was just having, you know, in some cases, sometimes the song gets popular just because of the chorus, not necessarily the whole song in and of itself. But if you have like a catchy anthem part of it, you know, like Mask Order did, F the Mask Order <laughs> <laughs> and the New World Order, you know. Right. Um, so yeah. it was really good. And I really like Break the Great Reset. I think anti they're all really good. But this latest one I'm really excited for. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are, too. What do you think of the song? And, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, check out the campaign. They... 
So yeah, we'll just hang out for the next probably 30 minutes, refresh the campaign, see mm -hmm. if we get oh, any definitely. contribution, contributions, contributions over 25. And uh, yeah. We'll and we'll here. also be... Um, oh, Sharper said refresh the conference. Oh, we got one backer. Awesome. That's uh -oh. so cool. Yeah, it wow. takes a moment to load the amount. So oh yeah. Thanks so much, Sharper. Appreciate it. All right. We're gonna get means... ready with another pepper. <laughs> Let me get the weenies ready. Get the weenies ready. And then by the time I'm back. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> thanks, Paul. Yeah, we're gonna be um geared up here in just a second to do to do the next. <laughs> <sighs> the next hot ones at the shot. I'm, I'm already pretty between the, the hot stuff <laughs> and the drinks. It's it's uh it's taking its toll. What an epic comic comic, comic. comment by Sharper four two two one. All Refresh right. the content. Whose turn is it for the the hot ones anyway? Um, I thought I did the last one. Yeah, I did the last okay. one. So I you got to pull it for me. Yeah. Oh, we got two already. Okay. Whoa, two. Oh, okay, two. whoa. Oh, All right. Thank you so much, Sharper. Um, we're gonna do a cheers. Do you need to fill up? Yeah, I gotta yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Jack is hanging in. I'm hanging holding on to what got. he's got. It oh, doesn't boy. make a difference if you like it or not. That's not the song that we produce, Break the Great Reset. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cheers, Sharper. Four, two, two, one. Ready? Okay. So we got, yeah, two supports. And then already. I'll do the uh, truth or dab. Okay. For Sharper, right? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we got to do two two of them for two supports. Okay. Woo. Okay. <sighs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I love sake, though, you know? Good old rice wine. Just like grandma used to <sighs> make. <laughs> All right, two. Okay, we gotta do truth or dab. Ready? I'm gonna draw this. Okay. All right. So yes, yeah, showing right here. Just refresh. We got two back from sixty four. Oh, I love so. this. Okay. Okay. This is not hard at all. Truth. Who in this room can wipe the floor with you in a trash talking battle? Oh, whoops. <laughs> all right. You, you're the. You go. You go. What do you got? Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, d definitely. Uh, me. De I agree. Definitely me. You're really good, uh, Jack. You know, you're really good. All right. I'll you bite. think really clear, especially every week of the month. You know, you, you got it going on. You know, you don't got cloudy Ooh. stuff once a month. You're great. All right. <laughs> not that hot. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Cool. Um. And then. Because it was just the tip, wasn't it? It was just the tip. So it's not as hot. So actually. Um, Barely. Whew. Kevin here says, why is the great reset a myth or labor conspiracy? And it's kind of funny because right? what's really it's funny true. is like literally, if you look on Amazon, he literally wrote a book Klaus Schwab called the wrote great the reset. Book, oh. Wrote the book COVID-19, the great reset. Klaus Schwab literally wrote the book, the great reset. It's not a, cons I mean, it's a conspiracy in terms of yes, people meeting behind closed doors. And yes, but they it's use coded false. language to it's try and hide <laughs> how much of, but they, of, We're not of even like rights they want to take, up. but literally they, they try to paint it under, oh, technology is just going to go this way. Right. And part of the whole lie was, oh, it's just COVID that went through all this. Right. 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 That, that, oh, there was no, there was no Wuhan lab. There was no gain of function research. What are you talking about? You crazy conspiracy theorists, even right. though there were actual literal hearings with Fauci and most notably the good doctor's son, Rand Paul. But uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one's for <laughs> oh, you. Another one. Oh, okay. So this is for me. Who in this room would lie, ch uh, scheme, and cheat their way to the top? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. TZ Burton, I want to help you on the music video versus giving you two money. Oh, thanks so much. I Thank really you. appreciate that. Uh, cool. Well, it definitely helps because that obviously is. Uh, making a difference here already because at least last i refresh it we're up two backers so that means we got to do this next um challenge here so it's it's you what are you gonna do you're gonna say who oh would lie like yeah. they would actually do it yeah so who in this room would lie scheme and cheat their way to the top and i have to choose one so either way i'm just gonna i'm just gonna dab okay <laughs> there it is 
Very nice. It's getting yeah. spicy. Oh, and you, you got the chasing it with the wiener? With the wiener seeds. has spice on it. What the heck? <laughs> you got seeds on your wiener. Mm. <laughs> so good. Cheers. Cheers. That is a spicy wiener. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, well. Well. Well, thank you, TZ. Thank you so much for kicking us off. And thank you, Solo, for uh, kicking us off. I think both off. of you guys seriously want to break the Great Reset. Yeah. I think I think you're right. Um, Paul said, new song was sick. Good job, y'all. Oh, thanks so much, Paul. I really appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that was a fun one to do. She yeah. wasn't, she didn't know. It's like, listen, we're gonna do this new song. <laughs> I got we're doing the great research. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, we're doing this next song. It was really fun to practice it and go through it together. And yeah, you did a great job. Thank you. And I'm, I'm really gonna, excited to see you do a good job with the music video design. I'm gonna try as you orchestrating. <laughs> I'm try, try my best. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Like at this point, spicy, right? So many spices and so many drinks in. I'm pretty lit, but I'm not gonna stop plugging. We need to keep chugging. So hey, <laughs> right now, if you're watching, let's go. We got go. 30 minutes. Let's go. 30 minutes at least. Let's go. Let's get third backer in on this campaign again. Igg.me forward slash at forward slash btgr. Break the great reset. Let's do this. Let's make this music video the best yet. <laughs> We're going to kick some tyrant ass promoting not, not some, Jack. Well, not me. Yeah. But, <laughs> promote, but I was demonstrating. Promote some liberty. Because a big part, like, and people don't get this, right? Wait, do you want to be Klaus Schwab? I don't want to be Klaus Schwab. <laughs> we have somebody I get to mind. chase you. Just going to mind. But <laughs> the, the whole point of shifting the culture <laughs> is the more you get people aware of what's going on, the more you actually get people to take their resource and their time and they shift it out of it, right? Because the only way these people win is if they have your money coming in, right? That's it. They can't win if you're sitting there and saying, I'm putting my money with people who are against the Great Reset. I'm putting my money with people right. who are against the Federal Reserve. I'm right, looking my... into the companies they that you support. They can't win if everybody else is like, yeah, you know what? Screw you. I'm supporting people who love liberty. I'm going to vote both with, with my money and my feet exactly how I want to see the future be shaped. And the more you do that, again, you don't have to do it all at once. I know it's tough for a lot of people, but if you do it incrementally, if you sit there and say, you know what, I'm going to start by canceling my Disney plus membership and I'm going to go support Tuttle Twins. I'm going to go right. support whatever else, you know, Repiverse, whatever. If you do it incrementally and you start working your way, these people, they 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 cannot sustain their system. It's, it's completely built on a house of cards of people just accepting the status quo. The second you start, Thinking outside parallel economy, the second that these people lose their control, and then they're left with trying to use violent force, and at that point it's too late because yeah, everybody's like finding local farmers or supporting grocery right. stores that actually purchase from your local farmers. You know? Right. Yeah. For example. So Johnson says, with the twenty five dollars, what's a shot of choice? <laughs> oh, shot of it. choice. Well, uh, right, today we're doing. We only have sake. Um, well, we have Saki, but I we could sh we could bring out the Jamie, the Jamie one if they want. Oh yeah, I'll do Jamie if they oh want. Oh my gosh, we have a little bit of Jamie left. That's like this one twenty dollar bottle or something. Yeah, it's like a it, Jamie. It's really can strong. Run up the full one forty bottle. Yeah, it's much stronger it's than a the brandy. Sake. I'll do it What's if that the... if you say to do it, I'll do it. It's not like that's my choice of like what I was gonna go with, but I'll do it if you say do the Jamie. I'll do the Jamie. Do All it. right. All right. It's it's I'm on in. it's on Jonathan. Let us know. Yeah. Um, but so how much more percentage of alcohol is that for the Jamie <sighs> Jamie's compared like to the sake? Forty percent. Sake's like fifteen, <sighs> and that Jamie's like forty. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's tough. All yeah. right, guys, we're gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna end the stream on a good note for the last twenty five minutes. Okay, we're gonna use whip out the Jamie. Nah, we'll. No, if someone supports and they say, I want the Jamie, I'm telling you right All now, right, then you can I have to see it, it on here, though. It has to be on here. It has to be on the campaign. So you have to do it on the campaign. I'm not going to do any, anything else. Sounds good. Sounds So good. donate link. All right, you got it. I can definitely do it. So igg.me forward slash at btgr. I'm going to post it right here. Oh, that's a sick tattoo. What is that? I don't know. I look closer. So I'm setting it out right now. It's going out to all the channels. Here's the support link. Here's the campaign. 
So if you say you want us to do a different drink, look to Jamie, that's very strong. And I'm, <sighs> that's more than I double. I am not ready and for when this, you but mix, I will do it if you tell me. You know what happens when you mix? Everything gets faded. Yeah, it's going to get real faded uh, real fast. And we got more than like, we, we, you know, it's like 25 minutes, but that's a long time. And I'll stay an I'll stay a little bit extra. If people keep supporting the campaign, I will stay extra. Keep, I don't. I mean, I'm. I'll keep drinking extra, but it's yeah, whatever. Fuck. Hey, I'll do it. I'll do it. If you if you're gonna go do it, I will do it. I will do. I will join you in drinking. Fine, but it's it's gotta happen. I'm not gonna just you know, just do it just just willy nilly. So if the people are up here supporting on the campaign, we are serious. We really want to make this music video happen. You've seen our past work. You know we're not BSing. We have literally made tons of music videos and tons of and songs. And they're not with potato cams. Right. Some of them were with potato cams, but that was when... No, early... I would not call those potato well, cams. That's true. If you compare to like some crazy cam like $5,000 camera, no. okay, sure. But it ain't no webcam, no, 40 no, megapixels. No, no. I mean, we talking 1080p our... right. minimum, usually well, are... 4K. Right. Yeah. They're usually minimum like a GoPro <laughs> or like a DSLR. But I get it. Hey, at the like end of the a, day, you know, black magic. it's yeah. compared to what? Yeah. It's compared to what? But no matter what, <laughs> if you want to see this happen, I know you do because everybody here hates what's going on with the government and the World Economic Forum and them trying to literally turn the culture into one of total subservience, total subsistence on freaking crickets, putting people into pods. Telling people that, oh, you need oh, to stop Oh, you know they fund these Illuminati videos. Right. Like so they're music all videos yeah, they're trending all the time on YouTube. They're freaking people you can imagine when it comes to mainstream Hollywood. They're literally sure. funding people who are literally like, yeah, I am an occultist. I, you know, I'm going to literally do blood sacrifices as part of the Grammys. And we want to promote a culture of, you know, mass, you know, genocide or sterilization. You know, we literally stand against this in ways that nobody else does. Like what we do with our work, it's straight up is something that nobody else does in this realm. You know, there's people who do stuff that's like, yeah, you know, I push, you know, back against the establishment of their system. But very few people actually do it like we do. And we call it out in name, in specificity. And we go down and say, this is what we're not going along with. Not too many people do that. It's very rare. Right. For it's very rare. Yeah, and the at medium this level of, of quality. Music. At this level of quality. It's very rare. Right. Yeah. So, definitely. Oh, it looks like our boy just hey, came through. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. Woo, done. Well, Jonathan, if Degrees. you did, we as we said, <laughs> we promise you, if you would support, drink a choice. What's we your have, choice? You want the sake? We have sake, we have Jamie. What else do we have? I don't even know. Do we have Dom? Do we have? To, I don't know if we have Don. We've been Julio. low on our alcohol because we've kind of like been weaning it out. Like we had some parties. We've been trying to be, you know, healthy. <laughs> I had a birth. My actually on my birthday, that's where it really was cleared. <laughs> he uh, says, last "Jamie, month. let's go." Okay. Hey, right. Jamie, Hold let's up. go. I love your little face. That's so cute. Do you watch anime? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, "Jamie," so it's on. Hey. We doing it. We doing it. Okay. Oh wow, eighty nine. All right. Well, that's very generous to you. Thank you. Seriously, appreciate it. And um, honestly, I'm barely holding on. So oh, good. we got the Glen Fittich from our boy. What's the Glen? Oh, oh, that's whiskey. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, we do have some whiskey too. I didn't realize that because um, it was given to us as a gift and I forgot. Um, all right. Yeah, Jamie, let's go. Yeah, you can see how much we cleared of this on my birthday. <laughs> so this is how much we cleared. It was all right. like all the way full. <laughs> so... Thank you. Oh, thank uh, you. You're good. You're good. So this is Jamie one for those who aren't familiar. Oh, cool. And I've never had it. So um, I'll bring it over here. So Jamie one Ooh, look at that um, is pretty fancy. Fancy bottle. Right, it's a really nice fancy bottle. Um, you can retail <laughs> stores will sell this for between 120 to 140. Uh, we didn't buy it. 2000 they, with inflation. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's no Louis 14, but it's, <laughs> but um, this was given to us on our uh, anniversary. Yeah. So, or I guess no at our wedding. Wedding, right? I mean, I think of it as yeah, a first right now, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Right now, it's a <laughs> so um, we saved it for a year and then we opened up it for your birthday. So yeah, there's a little bit left. That's true. We made it one year older before we finally popped it. Yeah. Woo! 
All right, this is for you, Jonathan. So an honor thin, uh, an honor thin. Oh, Jonathan said, never <laughs> seen Jamieson like that. Beautiful. Oh, so this is a Jamieson? No, it's not Jamieson. This is oh, it's ja not a Jamieson. This is Jamie. It's a brand. It's a very high. Oh, it's a brand just called Jamie the first with the Roman Yeah, Jamie the first. Here cool. you go. Uh, oh, you want to put some here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's pretty, I've already let it end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to. What are we gonna night. do? I don't know. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We gotta. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> All right. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make voices. Okay. All right. Well, I, I said we're doing this until we Cheers. get to your anime voice. Cheers. I love you. Jack. Cheers to Jack. To Jonathan please Wooden. don't go in the water. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, Jonathan. Woo! My whole life oh my is flashing God. before me. If that's strong for you, imagine for me. You're going to need rehab. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That's strong. We're going to need to drink a lot of water. Woo! Okay. What's your name? What's your name? What, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Huh? <laughs> Woo! He's already pulled wait, over. LOL. Four cheers. Oh my gosh! Wait, that's four backers. What the heck? Oh, is we happening? got four backers. We're at one percent of Who our flex this? of our goal. Who did this? No. Oh my god. No. Okay, which one? Oh my god. Do you want Sake or Jamie? One. Oh wait, okay. did we even play Truth or Dare? Yes, we have to for, play Truth or Dare. Yes. For Jonathan. Yes. We didn't. Okay. Yes. Wait, did we? No, we didn't. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Who in this room would crush you? In a lifting contest. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this is for you Jonathan. You better not do truth. Oh, this is easy. You Wait, are you, is this mine? Yeah. No, no, it's yours. No, it's mine. It's, it's yours. mine. It's yours. It's yours. Like, uh, uh, obviously, I would. Just kidding. What? Get out of here. That would be playing the game of, of lies. <sighs> Let's be honest, okay? Jack would crush me in a lifting contest. Of course I okay? would. Not a question. Dude, I can, question. I can like, okay, my I can lift at most like 40 pounds. Like, <sighs> and that's like struggling. That's like, <laughs> you know, like trying so hard. And then like at most, maybe I can do two reps. But that's a struggle. And then I'm like really out of breath. And everyone at the gym's like, you know. But it's okay. And uh, I'm going to have this pepper. Yeah. No, it's pepper time. It's pepper time. It's perfect. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I don't even know anymore, man. I'm, I'm, this is gonna be rough. We already got another support of the campaign. And I'm struggling. <laughs> we had to go a little too hard, a little too early. <laughs> Sorry. I don't, I don't know, know why I do man. that. I live in Florida. That's what you do. Woo! Woo! Okay. Oh God. I did not consent. <laughs> I did not consent. Oh, just my kidding. Gosh. I did to this pepper you in my did mouth. Consent. <laughs> I consented to this pepper in my mouth. I'm struggling right now because there was a fourth support and now there was a fifth support. And it's oh, now, my, oh my God. God. Okay. A pepper after that shot. Oh, no. I don't know what to do right now. I know, Jonathan. Um, <laughs> all right. Pass all you cup. can do. Pass your cup. Is every breathing. Oh, pass your cup. Hey, you know who? <laughs> this reminds me. I don't know. It reminds me of like <laughs> when I was like just first meeting you, and I'm like, Yo, you need to drink some water. <sighs> Here you go. And I called you and on on uh, on Facebook Messenger <laughs> before they were all gay. <laughs> with the uh, censorship right all right we're at five but, backers we got two but when go. i did that i was like hey Jen, you want to make a video game oh, yeah that's true <laughs> about anarchy ball <laughs> oh, okay. right. and the rest is history <laughs> we're so hot you're right jonathan for some reason will you have a pepper Jalapenos. Jalapenos. It really hurts. It does hurt. I'm hurting. Freaking 
frick? Anyone All else right, cheers, that let's go, let's go. Cause, well, I don't know what this is for. I don't even know. Cheers, I got milk. Yo, that, I, don't, I don't even know, man. Oh. Okay, okay, ready? We're going to do mental math. Two plus two. It's four, quick math. Four plus four. Eight. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen. Thirty-two. Thirty-two plus thirty-two. Sixty-four. Sixty-four. 28. <laughs> 256. 256. 512. 1048. Uh, 1048. 1048. Okay, actually, I don't know anymore. 4,000. <laughs> 4, I'm sorry, but these are a part of the mathematical models that build a binary because binary Can you we know, play works with? in 8 bit systems and memory is like extrapolable from 2 bits, right? Because you have 0, 1 on off states. You know what I mean? Zero one, right? You go zero one, then z then one zero. <laughs> For all this you math nerds point. and all you binary computer science nerds, we're here. Who's a binary computer science nerd? That's like someone with autism. Ew. Yeah. That's sort of like, hey, tell <sighs> the computer to do something that you could do in two seconds with C sharp or C plus right. plus okay, or Java. Okay, so what is this question? But for you're me? like. One zero one zero 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 one zero zero one hey hey zero one zero zero one zero you know go. but you know the world we need that you know we need autists to find where the flag is of Shia LaBeouf okay I'm just kidding all right truth who in this room would be the worst person to date <laughs> why That's actually hilarious and why That's actually you better not answer this <laughs> that is so good. You mean me? That's the one who so randomly good. does Long Island accents? No. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I, I'm the worst. Straight up, I? Fa I is the worst break. person to date Why? in this room because Fa Why? is a child. <laughs> no. I'm not a child. All right, she's not a child. She's obviously a full adult. But I'm saying, emotionally, <laughs> she's been through some stuff and she's got a lot of growing to go. <laughs> Yo, why do, I, why do you think I like Stefan Molyneux, huh? Why do you think I was all into that childhood stuff? <laughs> Maybe because I'm projecting like that IMAX on the screen. <laughs> <sighs> all right, anyway, when I get a little drunk, I sound like my brother. <laughs> Your brother's, he's, he's a my hard older man. Brother. He's hard man. <laughs> all right, we I are at 239, five backers. We got you. Hey, bro, if you're watching this, I love you and I'm going to see you soon. Yo, okay? You and you always encouraging right me. Now. You're so cool. <laughs> and you're like a father now to your own daughter. And I'm going to meet my niece. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be my niece. I'm so excited to be my niece this year. And my brother knows Ooh. I've been making voices since I came out the womb. Yeah. He like saw me come out the womb out of our mother. And he's like, and I'm like, hey, yo, what's up, my bro? And he's like, wow, she doing accents from day one. That's right. <laughs> All right. My nose is running. Be right back. Your nose is running. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I had. Oh, here we are. Whoo. Okay. So Fuzz apparently blowing her nose. I'm pretty, pretty blitzed. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do number five. <laughs> okay, we got, anyone we, watching we got, this we would see more. the volume escalate from like, hey guys, hey, TC knows a C programming, <laughs> Fuzz a C sharp. You know C programming? She's a fuck. Okay, C sharp developer. Okay, if Jack does not, I'm just a math nerd fuh, lawyer. Then. Jack equals state dot sad parentheses per um uh semicolon for those that uh that like strongly type languages like C sharp. Hey, what's up? Where are my strongly type languages at? Don't get me started, TZ Burton on <laughs> programming. Uh just kidding, do. Um, who would like to see a computer science 101 course by Fa Likes to Code? Anyone? Anyone else in the room? Me, right? Yeah, yeah, me. I would. I think there's a market demand. You know, I just think it'd be really cool to talk about my experience as a computer science dropout. 
turn self-directed software engineer. I mean, it'd be really fun, you know? It's just, yeah, it'd be cool. Just throw it up. Oh, you're a C-sharp dev? Oh, what's up, Sharper? Oh. <laughs> All right, Sharper 4221. I am a C-sharp dev. Okay, please just fill my intellectual excitement because I'm a little, I'm a little drunk. And I like to code. You know, the best time to code is when you're a little inebriated. You're like, if, else, <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> for each, why is this bug happening? <laughs> I don't understand. Has anyone else online experienced this like me? Anyone else in the great expanse of humanity? <sighs> Almost eight and people in the world come on i mean that's amazing and you know who wants to kill everyone klaus schwab and all these people you know they just want the wealth for themselves they're like you people don't deserve <sighs> property but we do you know they're all about double standards they're like you will own nothing and i'm like why are tyrants german just kidding i mean it's just a stereotype there are other tyrants that are not german like, you know, CCP, North Korea. Okay, you know what I mean. I'm just joking. But it is kind of funny, right? Like, I don't know why, but Germans got this, like, authoritarian accent going on. I don't know. Maybe history colors it for you. Maybe it's just a stereotype. But they're always like, nine, nine, nine. We got to end, end the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the fire. <laughs> you know? And they always, uh, and they're like, we get the bottle of Jamie and you don't, you get the box and we get the meat. We get the, the, the red blood meat. And now we're Russian. And now we're Russian. We used to be German and we turned to Russian. <laughs> That's right. It'd be really hard for me to do like a comedy stand up because I couldn't hold the accent. That's like a prerequisite to being like a comedian. You have to like hold the accent. But if you're like in the middle of doing like a southern twang twang and then you switch to like P and dub Seattle, like proper, perfect English, you know, it, it, it just no one is it's just it's not going to work. Speaking of proper, uh, like, perfect English. On that note, actually, we are going to be a libertarian party. For those who didn't already know, <laughs> <laughs> if you've been here since the beginning and have tolerated our completely inebriated just like jack nonsense. has tolerated me because apparently <laughs> i'd be the worst today <laughs> you are to hear first folks jack lloyd is like compared between be. jack lloyd and the philosopher if you had to choose who to date you'd want to choose jack lloyd being instead of saying, the philosopher Team jack is pretty yeah. hot right now. i'm just saying i'm just saying but you can see okay. us both whether you're on team jack team Fa or, or either if you're going to be in Washington or close enough to go, we are going to be in the area March 24, 26. It's rare. Yes. So that's why you should go. Because yes. literally. We're going to be in the mountains. And we're usually we're mountains. tanning on the beach. So this is going to be cool. We're going to have an overcast feel. It's going to be a little depressive, but intense. Because that's what Seattle's like. Am I right, folks? Yeah. Where are my software engineers at from the PN dub? That's right. So <laughs> if you're going to be around that area, come out to see us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're obviously going to be having a lot of fun because it's going to be Yeah, a we're doing the mixer. What's up? Mixer. Friday yeah. night. We're bringing the party to LPW. And then you bet your booty we're going to go to Hot Pot. Oh, or yeah. we're going to go to Midnight Deem Sum. If of you those. come out with us, we're going to tell you where to come after. We're going to get some delicious Asian food, whether it's at Pho or Hot Pot, whatever's open that late time of night. We're doing it. Okay. And we're going to be having Boba a good tea. time. <laughs> we're going to be having a I good time. I was picking up a card. So if you're in that area, or some people can just do it. Some people are like, yeah, I'm out of state, but I'll fly in for it. Come on out. We don't go to that area often. It's it's seriously. Like, yes. It's not, no joke. Vegas people, it's Oregonians, Idaho's, Utah's, Canadians, if you can get the heck. Actually, Come I heard the vaccine made it was literally So Canadians, headlined. please come out maybe we can get our good friend jeff mcnooks to come out jeff mcnooks will be there oh maybe we should hit him up i, I should we'll him. tell him he would come he would come yes but just come on out come check us out we're gonna have a great time and... <laughs> like i'm gonna text him right now right text hey but come over 
it's again, if you're on that coast, that's the time to come see us because <laughs> it is a rare opportunity. We do not come out that side often. You'll more likely see us Florida side because, as you know, Florida, Maine, that's how we do. So, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Drizzle was just in Boise. There you go. See, you, you can make it out. You can make it out. And TZ Birds is a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. Yes, exactly. It's a it's a very yeah. hot area for Asian people. <laughs> they come on out. They make oh, amazing, delicious pho restaurants. Home sweet home. Yeah. So we're gonna be there. We're gonna be getting pho coming Mount out. Mountain mama, the take me home. <laughs> Seattle rolls down down and down. And take meantime. me home, Chinatown. Are we gonna get flagged? <laughs> Flag, no, we're gonna get flagged. You're not allowed to do anything because intellectual property is a farce. It's a victim. It's it's totally a farce. It's created by these people who are like, yo, you can't have <laughs> All right, are we gonna right, make the, it to midnight? Left, I don't we know got six minutes. We got six oh wait, did Look. we finish our song? Did we do Jamie one? Oh, we did the Jamie one. We did that. But did we do the five? I don't know. No, I'm honestly struggling to keep up. No, with we never where did the five. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, Cheers. this is for the fifth. But I swear to God, <laughs> you better. I need a six. Jeez. Someone come on in <laughs> before the night ends. Grateful driver. Before hey, the night hey, ends. Hey, what's what up? are you right what's now? What's up, grateful driver? <laughs> come on in. Let's get the this. Uh, I can't even focus. Oh. This two thirty nine. Can someone get it to three hundred? Can we get to 300 before we have to go off? I mean, I'll stay an extra whatever. I'll I'm going to read Hebrew for I God's sake. I will stay sake. an extra half Resh, hour if we keep Sade, Ayin, noon. <laughs> and someone's going to clip this like, she's part of the Illuminati. No, yeah, right. my husband's just part Jewish. Okay? Part. Klamed, Chiyod, Chayin, Chaled. Did you know that Hebrew people, they insert the sound H when they're talking? Yeah. 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 It's hilarious. <laughs> In any case, I'm just your average American enjoying the world's cultures. You know, Scott, average. I love America. Just fuck. We can do so this cool. I love right America. Now. I love America. I, I don't like the government. I want to abolish the Federal Reserve. I want to end the income tax. I think property taxes. I think all taxes are just theft. It's modern day slavery, neo feudal slavery. I mean, look, do you really own your property if like you don't pay your taxes and you're like retired or whatever and you're on a fixed income and then what? You can't afford the property taxes anymore because the Federal Reserve keep printing money and you know they're just driving up the property to the, like you know prices on your houses. It's like what are you gonna do? Just like, you know. It's crazy. <laughs> I just think it's slavery, and we just got to end it. We got to get people to recognize slavery was bad, right? Right? You agree? Yeah, everyone, everyone, cool, cool. Okay, taxation, you know what that is? Slavery. And just like slavery, when people understood what it was, chattel slavery, it needs to be abolished, not reduced, not minimized. No, we need to abolish slavery. We need to outlaw, right? Just like murder is outlaw, theft is murdered. We need people to realize the reality of what taxation is a literal threat on your property and or your life if you resist to give up your property when you don't pay taxes it's just the way it is that's literally what it is why do you think there's a saying that there's nothing uh, inevitable more than death and taxes or whatever the saying is right it's just like this ploy to make you think that taxes are required but you know what if you want the roads built <sighs> I'm pretty sure you're going to pay the toll, okay? And if you're not going to pay the toll, maybe there's a fast lane. And those who need to go fast and go to work, like I used to do, <laughs> back when I drove to work. <laughs> no, is it, no, I mean, way. isn't that crazy, though? Like, literally, people you would like, pay the toll, you oh, know, and you'd help fund the roads. How you don't need this funded, government. Oh, okay, billboards, right? that could help fund the roads, right? All volunteer, all volunteer. No need to go after your your neighbor who's just trying to raise their family. No need to have your mom be taxed to death who works so freaking hard for herself and her family. Okay, right? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know, just all these these governments, these sophists, whoever in power, just using abstract language to obscure the nature of reality, you know? And as philosophers or people who are philosophers that like pho, Vietnamese beef noodle soup, uh, you, you know, you, you get this, you know? Yeah. No, it, it's just, it's, it's just nuts because the government <laughs> literally, it's almost midnight. Wow. they tax people, they have registration <laughs> yep. on vehicles. 
They, <laughs> the, some states even have emissions checks you have to pay for. It's crazy. And we're just talking about the U.S. They have driver's licenses fees. They have literal fees for parking your car in the and city. And this is the U.S.? It's worse than the U.K. can't imagine it's worse that there's China. other market ways to fund the roads when people yeah. are paying fucking tolls to just drive you know, across bridges and stuff. It's, it's not that hard to imagine, hey, if you diversify the ways you can fund roads – whether it's a private corporation, you have shares, and there's nominal amounts of revenue and dividends, but it just helps to get more traffic to businesses. That there's literally can be ways to do this, right? And it's so frustrating to get people to just think about the ways that you can voluntarily fund things. I mean, it's, it makes you think of the Free State Project documentary and this this group of people who was like, "Oh, we can't fund enough for you know schools. For schools Why they cut right. the budget?" And it's like you have 377 people show up to this town hall meeting. And you can't voluntarily, get these, voluntarily you. you can't get these 377 yeah. people to it's open their wallets right. and say, hey, you know what? What do you need for the school? You need some computers. You need some textbooks. You need some whiteboards. What do you need? And to just open their wallet yeah. and say, okay, yeah, I'll throw a couple hundred bucks toward yeah. that out of my money or I'll support $20 a month. Whatever, or I'll start my own. Kid. Right. It's or there's no insane. monopoly on school, so I can actually start my own. Right. Right. There's no license. Look. That's what we need, okay? If you actually understand in the market, like, okay, government shouldn't manufacture T-shirts. They shouldn't be the one to manufacture computers. They shouldn't be the one to manufacture phones. Because if you understand economics, just the basics of incentives, right, and the profit motive, you would understand that when government centralizes things and cuts out competition, you're not going to have the tremendous diversity of options you have in the market today. I mean, you go to any grocery store, you have like 20 different choices to choose from of, you know, pasta sauces or, right. and that's just at that one store. That's just at the store that chooses to stock it. That right. one store is not going to have everything. You could go online and see what else is out there. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Like what the heck, you know, the what happens in the market, the market really does provide if the government just steps out of the way, if you let it provide, right. if you let people just be free, if you have a system in place that actually incentivizes people to build, and this that system is simply one that protects and secure property rights. That's it. If government is to exist, the only thing it should be doing is securing property rights. That's it. Body and property rights. Anything right. else is a violation by by its nature right and taxation is not necessary for the protection no. of body and property rights okay it's not and we can have a tradition a transition where we abolish taxation and the government still has all the property they have those people still work it's just there's no longer this decree if you abolish taxation of you can now be thrown in prison have your home taken away have your life taken away have your have your wealth just taken from you if you don't pay taxes right that's all we need to do. Decriminalize tax evasion. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, AKA it's, it's, it's keeping really your money. fascinating <laughs> that, you know, when, when you think about it, the yeah, and stop printing money like crazy. non-productive <laughs> way of, of, of getting money. And it's, a, it's just at some point you have to sit there and say, hey, OK, if people really value these things and, they, and the people who especially are like, oh, what about the children? What about the charitable things with like homeless other stuff? OK, if you're saying those things. You're literally stating that you value those things. Right. So why wouldn't you be like, oh, okay, well, the people who value these things. Don't you want children would to be free? Charity. Why right. would you want your own precious, innocent children to grow up and be taxed? Why wouldn't someday? you support Why would you that want them to be neo feudal right. slaves and not truly own their property? Exactly. Wouldn't you want them to have true freedom? If you, if freedom? you value it, you would <laughs> fund it voluntarily and it would be a blessing and a joy because it would be out of abundance. And if you don't have abundance, right? If you're just living whatever, barely, you know, just barely subsisting, then you can't support these things in the first place. The only way you're going to get to abundance is if you respect property rights. And if you have people being able to leverage, you know, mass production and specialization in a way that you have so much surplus, you're like, oh, okay, I can help those who are in need or who are disabled or elderly. You can't get there if everybody's just freaking hunter gatherer, I'm just barely getting by, you know, barely meet my needs. You need right. to have that surplus. <laughs> you need to have that expansion of capital to the right. point that you can provide so much that it's like, oh yeah, we can help anybody. Like, and that, that's and that why I love specialization in the market. You know, it's all voluntary. Right. Like people naturally just because of limitations in space and time, you can really only specialize in 
you can't specialize in everything, right? You're just limited in time. So most people choose one, two, three, you know, several things, depending on who you are, things to specialize in, you know, and they, they uh, defer to others that spent their time specializing, specializing in other areas. Like, for example, I'm never going to learn to be like a plumber, electrician, well, maybe lectures. I was kind of interesting, but right now I'm a coder, you know, I'm not really like into that. So right now I would hire somebody who has experience as a plumber, electrician, uh, in construction, whatever, because I would rather them do it instead of me spending however long they took probably 10, five years, like a crafts, we're talking like a craftsman architect, if it's construction to get to, you know, uh, specialization is beautiful and it, and, and it occurs naturally when individual human beings are respected in their broad, body and property rights. You know, it's it's a beautiful, simple thing. And and as Americans, I mean, I'm a I'm a first generation American. My father and mother are from Vietnam, although my mom's Chinese, you know, my my mom's side of the family has a lot of history of just moving around. So from China to Cambodia to Vietnam and now America, there's a lot of moving around <laughs> in the in the family escaping tyranny war and uh, government coming after you to take all your money to pay for the wars that they wage. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's a lot of that going on. And as a first generation American, one of my first things that, you know, made me feel really uh, passionate about being an American is just this idea of like, how many people come to this land, just seeking the simple idea of liberty and freedom. Something that no matter what language you speak, if you don't speak English, if you come here and you're you speak in, you know, <clears throat> Vietnamese, Chinese, like my family, but you rise up, you know, they worked in Chinatown, they slowly learn English over time, they learn from talking to their customers, if they were in like a customer service type business, like waitressing. And, you know, the thing that united everyone that I see, you know, especially growing up, like immigrant families living in welfare apartments that I grew up in, the the common thread is just working hard you know, and just like trying to um, have your life together. And that that's not to say that everyone's the same. I mean, remember, you know, we all as humanity, we come from a similar shared history of war and child abuse. I mean, um, of times past, if you look into it, ethics of how you treat children has evolved uh, through the centuries of, of human at least recorded human history. And it's it's evolved from things like incest being acceptable, rape being acceptable, murder, murdering your own children because you don't have enough food. Um, if you if you want to read more about this, it's uh, the book I read was by Lloyd the Mouse and it was Origins of War and Child Abuse. If you want to read into it, that's where I got this from. But you know, we come from that history of violence and it 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 is definitely like related the fact that we have a history of statism, of rule, but that has gotten more and more free over time, which only illustrates the proclivity of of liberty through through hum, humans throughout the world. It's it's something to just find solace in and to recognize that we can do better, you know. And and we are the generation that's the most connected. Like whether you're a a millennial or Gen Z or what's the newest generation now <laughs> after Gen Z, uh, whatever, um, you know, whoever is living today, we literally have the technology to communicate around the world and communicate our ideas of liberty. So why not use the voice you have? If you got a voice, project it, right? We off the grid, 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 Kanye West. Okay. <laughs> But that's a good song. But it's true. It's true. If you got a voice, you got to project it, you know. But like, you know, you got to stand strong. Like, I don't know if there's a heaven or hell or life after this life. All I know is that we're alive today, right now. And we have the means to communicate these ideas of liberty. So that's why we go into LP Washington. We headlining. We're here to spread liberty, build our community, show each other that we don't have to all speak the same language. We don't have to have the same culture. You don't have to like rap music. You can like metal and screamo that I'm not really into, whatever. Okay. But as long as we share the same values of respecting each other's body and property rights, 
respect thy neighbor, you know, love, love, respect thy neighbor, whatever you want to say. It, that's all we need. And, and we can have such a beautiful society as a result. I mean, even even despite how many wars there are waged, it, despite how much the government takes from you, you see the market working every day. It's it's absolutely incredible. So, real, yeah. that's some real stuff. <laughs> okay, I would anyway, say this is some good Jamie. If you What's need up, some Jamie? More, one? <laughs> no more principles. My book, The Definitive Guide to Libertarian Voluntarism. Definitely oh, pick that I up. I love this. Please. I was just reading like, damn, I wrote some good stuff back in the day. Um, my next book is going to be. I proofread this book. And she edited it. She's the editor and proofreader. And we're one day going to go to the studio and do an audio recording. I am. I'm going to the author. Do it. My next book is hey, is going to be incredible, and Oscar, you know it's under wraps right now. But when you see my next book, up. it's going to it's going to really change your life. It's going to make you understand how we can convince people of this libertarian future. So get ready for it. It's going to be incredible. But my first book, if you haven't gotten it already, you definitely should get it and read it because it will really challenge your thinking. It, this is a kind of book that it's it's so short, but I, the way I write it is just. Look at those tables. So succinct contents. in a way that make you go, oh, right. okay. This really challenges my my thinking and, and makes you wonder. Oh. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> makes you wonder what it is that you think and what you believe and why. And I don't know. I just I've spent many years debating and writing and looking through some of the best scholars, you know, in the 20th century. And I think I kind of succinctly put together Carl Menger, Frederick Bastia, John. Think Mark. about yeah. Auburn Herbert. Yep. Founder of voluntarism. Wow. Lysander Spooner, Ludwig von Mises, Murray and Rothbard, Tom Woods, Tom Woods House. John, that's a song we made, by the way. I loved Tom Woods it? House. You recorded that. I wrote it and I recorded it. That was so fun. <laughs> Ron Paul by the pool. <laughs> Hans Herman Hoppe, Milton Friedman, Robert Higgs, John Hasness, David D. Friedman, Ryan Griggs, Larkin Rose, Thomas Old, Mark Stevens, Stefan Molyneux, Ron Paul, Xander Mars, Igor, Tex Texera, Texera. Uh, Walter Block, and countless others who took a stand for living with you. Igor is awesome. He illustrates some of... He um, did the cover, and he's the Ripper verse. He's one of the Ripper verse artists. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And he did this cover. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is the book you need to read. Like, if, if you don't read any other book, read this book this year My man you are so talented look at this he literally so drew this others. from scratch yeah. i'm yeah. sorry i just gotta say so. sorry what were you saying oh no i, I was just <laughs> i was just simply saying that you know my book if you haven't read it yet it's it's one of the most important but succinct books i don't waste any time i've spent a lot of time reading some of the top scholars and just thinking about what's the most effective way to communicate the principles of liberty economics and ethics and i have my own additions to you know to that uh field in there but it's uh it's something definitely worth checking out and i do have a sequel coming out so i think it'll be done by 2024 it'll come out probably january 1st 2024 at least how i think it's uh coming together so and yours truly will prove for you yeah and, and yours truly will prove for you like you did the last <laughs> ones for sure so i'm really good at at, at catching spelling mistakes yeah. because i I came from Washington where we speak perfect English. Okay, anyway, so, <laughs> so that's a great the reset. Wait, did you finish the did we do a I all right, so truth? right now did we do a truth for I think five? So. I have a green pepper <laughs> and I'm going to bite You're the, into this me. deeply. I feel menaced. Did you know four inches is six, average? Okay, you four <laughs> inches, that's incredible. <laughs> Baby in South Korea. I'd be happy with three. <laughs> You All right, so miles. you're gonna eat that. Uh, I will bite into this. I need a sixth <laughs> backer, though. Hey, did you know there's a lot of Viet and rent in Washington? Why, oh, yes, there's a lot of Vietnamese and like rent in Seattle. The ones that left Seattle, are like, oh, Seattle's too expensive. I know, I know, <laughs> I understand that. Uh, so well, I'm okay. yay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone speak Viet? Hey, what's up? Anyone speak Vietnamese oh in the God. house? <sighs> Yo, what are you doing? That's what I said in Vietnamese. George I said Malam Ye, which means what are you doing? <laughs> All I know is that it's like, okay, I'm sorry, but I just have to say Vietnamese are like the New Yorkers of Asia. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I like that. That's There's a good encapsulation. <laughs> 
it's so true. Wow, I literally just made this connection now. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, Jamie the first. Okay, are you going to eat this? I will bite oh, this. Oh, but you need a six? I need a six. Who All will right, be I'm my number it. six? Please, for the love of God, support Brave the Great Reset. We are trying to make the most hard-hitting music video for Liberty. Please. Nobody else does what we do. We're going to hire sorry. a Carol Schwab. Is. High res doesn't do it. I don't care what anybody says. It, it, there's nobody. We're who, your favorite and cap rappers. Tom, Come on. Tom and McDonald singers. doesn't do this. Nobody talks about liberty in this <laughs> because way they're not straight and caps. Okay. They're not. They're not. The and caps are a niche of a niche of a niche. Right. Okay. Okay. So you, you think libertarians they do are good rising? Music videos. I love but their music. And they have are good even stuff. nicher of right, libertarians. Exactly. Okay. We're not saying they'll do good stuff. We're just simply saying we do it on a next level <laughs> that they are not aware of it. We are so doing great. things that others don't do. That is why we need this support because it is a difficult and narrow road to be on this narrow of a specific attack against Agenda 2030 and the Great Reset, Klaus Schwab. Yeah, next year is a presidential order, election right? for I mean, America. You haven't too. heard this stuff since like Tech 9 or like um, Vinnie Paz. I mean, or this, Dead Prez. Or Dead, Dead Prez. Prez was really you know specific I mean? like, about the uh, the organizations, the war on drugs, right. the police state. They were really explicit. Very um, they were socialists, that, but I yeah, think there were exactly. more socialists in the voluntary sense. Yeah. Like, I don't think they were like, okay, we got to, like, kill people who have property. We right. got to kill people who won't share their toothbrush because. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah. Personally... Just kidding. I've had so many debates with Ancoms of time past that I remember. <sighs> They're like, a toothbrush is not a mop. That's a personal property. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. But yeah, so Dead Press, they're really hard hitting, you know? And uh they're one of my inspirations for sure for making like rap that's just like clear, explicit, specific names, names, really gets into details of what is actually going on. So yeah, thank you to everyone who's supported us so far. It's really cool to see us at like two oh, percent already. Yeah. Uh really cool. And I want to thank the artist for making our our art there, our album art for this song. It's really cool. Uh, not album, song art. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. And I know the person that we would choose for sure to play Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab. He's actually part German, so perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> he can play the Klaus. And he's good. You he know, good. when he jokes around, he does his German accent. He is good. He's good. And he has a good German accent. We can do this. <laughs> he's like, oh, so close. would you like some beef, Franks? Because that's what we do in Germany. We have Franks. <laughs> we have hot dogs. And we take off the world. In the world. They work. So they don't have TH like th as a sound mm -hmm. in Germany. And that's why they go Z. Oh, you eat that? I, I want to bite into it. Come on. We need one more. It doesn't matter if you're $5 or $500. Let's go. Let's go. When get your husband six comes home. Before I go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. The jokes are getting too crude. We got to get at it. This is to all my people fighting back Let's against go. the lockdown, go. the shutdown, and the censorship. You are not alone. <laughs> We will rise. This is a Von Vitti production. Whether you're in the US, the UK, New Zealand, Canada, China, Brazil, Germany, Germany Japan, or Japan, worldwide, we will. Don't worry, win. I won't be this way. World when Economic Forum, Great Reset. <laughs> Nothing great about these guys on a quest of theft. Wanna put you in a pod, make you starve to death. Turn your children into slaves and exploit what's left. Klaus Schwab, Goon Squad, Black Robes and Crest. Illuminati concepts, New World Order chess. You're the carbon they wanna reduce. Sterilize the masculator so you can't reproduce. Uh, I will not go along with the great reset. I, I got do my a hairy in my hands. hands. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. And I will not bow down to it's their evil mess. I will I not go along with the Jack great reset. House. I will what do my very best to resist. Yeah. 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 I will yeah. not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evil mess. King Charles coming with the green recovery. Except the only green they want is a CBDC, <laughs> central bank digital right. currency. So thanks so much, to everybody. Control every that's transaction come out. scene. I really Agenda appreciate 2030, you. Agenda 2030, nobody's out. free. 
True Joe Bill Gates United Nations Tag Team. Social you want to make some neo beetle slavery. Refuse to get the shot flag for quarantine. I will not go along with the great reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evilness. I will not go along with the great reset. I will do my very best to resist. I will not eat the bugs. I will not own nothing. I will not bow down to their evilness. We work it harder and harder to our smart state. Parallel economy, a change of fate. Fourth industrial rev, they're planned to take Every liberty left, your life is slave Cut through, Malthusian lies, learn the truth They create the scarcity, abandon fossil fuels So don't give an inch, my precious jewel Break the great reset, we cannot lose So yeah, I love that song And let's make it go crazy viral with a really nice music video Where we chase Klaus Schwab That's right Around and we make sure we break the great reset. So yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, unvaxxed and happy. That's awesome. You well, can so dig it. Can I'm so glad. Six. That's we can great. do number six. <laughs> All right. Once let's, we get to six, we'll let's go excuse to six. me. We'll leave. That's right. We're gonna sit here till we get to six, baby. We doing yeah, it. Yeah, Robert America. We doing it. Let's get you to must six. Be from America. I am too far gone to not let us get to six. All right. Who's here from the East Coast? 12 p.m. I mean, 12 a.m. 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Hey, what's up? What's up? If you're in the Pacific Coast, it would be like a 920. And if you're in Australia, it would be like 1 p.m. Fact check me on that. You could just convert online. But uh, yeah, I'm just holding this pepper. This is the last pepper we have of the night. And, uh, you know, I think for the last one of the night, if we get to six, I will eat half and Jack will eat half. <laughs> do you want to eat? Do you want me to eat the first half? Because be a man, you need to be a man and you need to take the, the most seeds. It's a lot of seeds. Because you're a man. You know, I like, I like, the patriarchy when it benefits me when it's like oh, okay i don't have to do this because you're you, you got to be a man right so you got to carry the groceries you got to eat the most painful part of the pepper okay. sjw's everywhere is like screaming they're like no why are you perpetuating this okay i'm gonna clean this wait what where are you gonna, I'm gonna clean the pepper. you clean the pepper okay all right who's around oh, pn dub tz burton yes Hey, <laughs> right, I'm trying to. <laughs> this is very tough right now, honestly. Uh, consciousness. I'm trying to do one last major post here. How much shaving did you have? I, I've had a lot. I've had a lot. It's not. It's this has not been one of the easier challenges i'm fine i'm like drunk you're and fine master over I'm, here. you're drunk and master i'm over here like don't you want to do push-ups i don't know about push-ups well, hey let's I do burpees live on the stream let's do some burpees <laughs> who wants to do burpees <laughs> thanks Trevor. appreciate it someone said eat the pepper like lady and tramp ate the noodles <laughs> I, can right now, I can make you some sharper said i'm going to have off looking forward to the mu music video though Thank hopefully you, fun man. comes through oh thanks so much sharper yes me too and yes have a great night yeah. enjoy no don't get me wrong N none of Rock this is out. like unappreciated for everything that's been done so far we're absolutely thrilled yeah this forward. is awesome and we this haven't even done our start. messaging yet to people who've done the past yeah, you this know is campaign really cool. so we're going to be obviously and this is just day one of what 60 yeah it's a 60 campaign so obviously we're this is amazing for just yeah. literally just the first little bit this is amazing so right so let's see if we can uh, end tipsy, the amazing and, and expand as far it as i can baby so. i think we can jack and i can handle i will stay six, till six. Backer. i will stay till six so, let's go let's go let's go we'll we'll refresh and in the meantime i'm going to trigger michael because he said f burpees <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. man that sucks kevin got fired for his freaking uh, urinalysis you know, with MJ. That's for, it's so stupid, dude. It's so yeah. stupid because it's like literally, it's like you, if you smoke when you're not working, who gives a, like, you know what I mean? It's like, who cares? Are you doing your job? Are you actually doing what's And required? even if you are working, 
Right, like yeah. not when you're getting paid to work, but if you're on a break or whatever, how's that any different from yeah. like cigarettes, which is totally like work acceptable things that literally kill you. Who's going to be a sick, who's well, going to to be a the six, six pack. <laughs> we got six to back or we're almost there. We're so close. Five dollars and five hundred. OK, but care. in the meantime, I want to trigger Michael because he said F burpees. <laughs> F burpees. Wait, you're going to do burpees? Yes. OK. 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 <laughs> we're at that point of the night where burpees are burpees are so hard but you know what they do what do they do they work out your heart that's true we got to push. I got to push. I got to work off this Jamie that I just drank. That's a lot of Jamie. It was a lot. It was a lot. And normally, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm good. <sighs> I'm tired. It's hot. You got two, three in. Like, oh, we got a six Oh, my God. We got a we six got backer. A six backer. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh. We got a place. <laughs> This is yeah. to all my people. This is to the person who's the six packer. We're going to play Truth or Death. Alone. Yeah, you that's right. All right, what's the next round? Whether you're in the US. The okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, six packer. Thank you, six packer. Thank you. We don't know what the amount is. Thank you. But either way. <laughs> We have to burp, burp when you burp. do burpee. <laughs> All right, we got a six backer. A I don't know what they want, but I'm doing Jamie. We're gonna do the Jamie. <laughs> it's on. It's on, baby. We're doing it, Jamie. I don't know why I'm doing this. And then that after this video, I mean live stream, That's we're gonna have <laughs> monogamous cuddles. <laughs> monogamous. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Look, the Jamie is empty. You see what we've done. <laughs> We have literally killed. Oh wow! You guys Jamie helped us one. kill the Jamie we from it. our wedding. It We've didn't even it. last. It thank lasted you. a little over a year. Cool. That cool. was good. Yeah, thank you. And thanks, mm. uh, my boy. Oh my god. <laughs> my Mike. Mike. Mike Avi, who got it. <laughs> thanks. That's so funny. Mike Avi, thank you. <laughs> thank you for this. That's your students for Liberty Money before they went down the tube. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, refresh. Refresh. I'm refreshing. Oh, 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 we have seven seven backers. Oh, my God. We're going to no. die. Oh, I have the uh, Glenn Fittich from Mark Tanser. Is that wise to do that? <laughs> Mark Tanser, cheers to you. You're awesome, my Mark. We love in, you. Yeah. Was a groomsman at yeah, our wedding. Groomsman. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> Jack and Ruth. Cheers, sixth backer. I can't, well, We're gonna play truth or dab. We're supposed to do it twice. <laughs> All right, we killed the Jamie. That's what... <laughs> Jamie is dead. All right, truth. Who in this room needs to tone down? What do I need to tone down? There you go. Oh. Okay, is it my turn? Is it your turn? It's me. Oh, it's you? <laughs> the answer is me, and I'll bite this pepper just because I deserve it. <laughs> Ooh, this is like pickle ASMR. You know that people get... Okay, I guess I'm in the wrong business. There's a lady that does pickle ASMR, and that's all she does, and she has like over like 200,000 subscribers last I checked <sighs> like three years ago. Okay, like that's crazy. Okay, I guess, you know, you know, we're trying our best to make libertarianism the thing that would get you like as much subscribers as people ASMR lady, but shows you we got a long road to go. Nice. I, um, whoever supported your awesome. Oh, wait, so you don't want to tell the truth? You don't want to. Uh, I did tell the truth. Who? Me. Oh, you? You need to tone down your ego? Yeah. Oh, Thank you, Robert. But I thought I'm worse in relationships. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I guess my ego's not as high as yours. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I got a second Sorry. win from that, though. I got a second win. <laughs> okay. Who wants to go for Who's... eight? <laughs> okay. I Michael's so like F toast. burpees. Grateful driver's like, who's a good? Who's a going to be the six of the driver? Dude, grateful driver, are you Italian? Uh... 
because only people who are Italian American say that. They go, "Who's it gonna to be? The six of the back, You want the Italian spaghetti?" I just like accents. I love accents. I'm an American. But do we okay. have an ace supporter? <laughs> do we have one? I don't know. No, because oh. we just did the six. We have to do the seven. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I thought can't that even was worry it. about it. I thought, it, that, was it. I thought no, that was it. No. That was the six. No, 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 no. no. We're doing the seven. And the person who's a seven needs to tell us what they want. Uh, what or should do we do the sake? We, uh, Robert says neither. Should tone them up. LOL. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, anyone who's like, yo, you know, I just got some severed weight fat, or I'm just trying to lose weight in general. Burpees, man. I'm a fan. Lou Perez, Lou Perez really got me onto burpees. Like, I did it when I did Krav Maga training. Big shout out to Lou Perez. Yeah, Lou. Funny comedian. If you're watching this, hurry up and get the agreement back to me. <laughs> <laughs> We got to get this book. We're going to do a fun uh, events with Lou Perez this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we want to do it. So we'll see. He's got to sign the agreement and agree and He's consent. He's almost there. We're almost there. Because we, unfortunately, we can't just kidnap Lou. We would kidnap <laughs> Lou if he would consent to being kidnapped. Well, but then it wouldn't Which be is, kidnapping. Then it wouldn't be kidnapping. Yeah. Robert On Friel. Oh, man. Rose. Robert's still up in here, dude. You're a fucking legend. Robert, what? what? He's, he's still tracking. Man. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so we're on the seventh. I'm gonna get some sake. I'll be back. Well, you okay? Yeah, because it's my. I don't know how I'm gonna drink. manage gonna this. Are you gonna pass me? I know, go. but we. Wait, said... but there's a lot of sake in here. Oh, there is. No, we're oh, good. Okay, yeah, we're not plenty of sake. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I, I'm inspired. I feel like I don't know. I don't feel yeah, like I'm can. like I have to go. But I'm damn. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, we should just go until we just like can't. <laughs> like when you know I you're at you your limit. Over. Like right when you like I've only been blackout drunk that one time with you, and that's know, the that only time bad. I was blackout drunk. That's it. It's because you had Paps Blue Ribbon, and then you had liquor, <laughs> and you were starting to take selfies in the. <laughs> well, girls like are walking girls by. Are like, they're what like, the heck? You're like, why are you taking pictures of that? <laughs> because, because I'm in Florida and I'm in a club. And I'm with the uh, coolest person ever. Uh, so that's why. Thank you. Thank you. And then you texted me like, hey, you out yet? It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, that oh, really you come funny. back out of the, ba <laughs> the bathroom. It's kind of Cheers, boring. seventh backer. I don't know who you are. You're anonymous. They're a Robert. That's all you need to know. Oh, thanks. They're a Robert. All right. This is sake. Cheers. And a truth or dab. Okay. Okay. All right. Truth. Seven. Oh no, thank you. No, thank you. I think actually a part Too of, strong. No, no part Korean. of the problem is you have okay. not done the true Japanese voice. If you only release that voice, then we could unlock the eighth backer. We've been waiting this whole night for this moment. And there's someone who's been waiting for that. And they're sitting there okay, saying, truth. I who in this room is the worst at the job and why? Is that what you want? Uh continue. All right, so I'm going to answer. I'm going to do the dab because I want a wiener. A little wiener, two inches. And I want, did you know two inches Where's is average? Where's the dab, please? And, <laughs> arigato Watashi wa. No, the anime voice. What anime voice? You know, you know what you must do. If you wish to accept. Uh, I don't know. You mean, I already did it. There and you didn't accept only it. only one answer that is accepted. Jojo adventure, come on, everybody! Jojo, Jojo. <laughs> we need back a number. You eight. said it, anime. You, what is it? The you have got to. <laughs> Grateful do this. driver says seven backers now. He's right. You took away my pepper. Okay, cheers. Seven back. We need eight. Come on, I think we can do eight. Can we clear three hundred? Come on, we are so close. We're so close. Ah! We're mm -hmm. so close. We are so close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the economy's tough, but this is an investment in liberation. We are so close. We've changed the culture so much. I, I seriously, I credit myself with at least 10,000 change bonds between all the works I've done. I've done a lot. I've yeah. invested countless hours in answering questions on Austrian economics, on libertarian theory, with anarchy ball, with everything else. We have... 
literally changed the world. Oh, it says eight now. Robert Friel. He knows what? something we don't know. Oh, my gosh. He says eight. All right. He I just feel like eight. we're all hanging out somewhere in like I don't know some cool that. ass club in like Orlando or something because be we fun, Florida honestly. men. We should do a party. Dude, we're going to do this in PNW. Want... That's true, actually. We yeah, are gonna we're going to do the mixer. I'm gonna... so excited. I want hookah and drinks. <laughs> And hot pot. And hot pot. We're doing it. Jack Ooh, likes good. endless barbecue. And when Jack cooks barbecue, it's like the coolest thing subjectively to me in the world. I am pretty good at cooking. Did you know value is subjective? Seasons. Hey, where my me. misesians at, right? Most Marty is, you get it. You get it. You get it. So, value is subjective. Where my capitalists at? Where you at? Where you at? Okay, eight backers. We're going to do this. <laughs> Eight backers. I don't care what the nominal amount is. And we're about to rape, make rape. Oh right. my god, make rap. You've music. had multiple <laughs> sorry lingual fall pass tonight. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put you out on the porch. <laughs> You're gonna put me on the porch. You go out on the porch tonight. But it's not finished yet. I don't wanna. Okay. The bismatic access. I love you guys. And who the fuck watching for this for three hours? <laughs> People are watching this for three hours. I love who stay for the craziness they know it gets crazier the more we drink <laughs> so we go into a beat let's go you sound like my older brother look i love you guys but who the fuck what is for three hours I'm trying. <laughs> that's so funny cheers eighth is this the eighth backer i say eighth backer oh okay you have to do the truth or dab yeah you're right you're right all right It's so strong. Who in this room is straight up smarter than you would ever back <laughs> away? You better this answer this. This is so tough. No, I, I straight up. Okay. So every way? I don't know so, about every it's so way. so tough because. Coding so, maybe, but that's just because it's Fa impresses but otherwise, me. <laughs> she has an incredible spatial intellect and deductive reasoning oh, intellect. I mean, she is oh, stop. incredible. <laughs> So I have a really big picture intellect. I, you know, each of us has accomplishments that signal our intellect in different ways. Like, obviously, she's a very successful programmer. I just rushed through to school, <laughs> obviously, doing undergraduate at, at a good school and, and doing law school. I and dropped being out. Being a teacher though. for University of Cambridge, A.S. I'm smart. No, I'm just kidding. But intelligence is diverse. Intelligence is more than deductive reasoning. It's inductive. It's also creative. There's a lot of things that involves intelligence. <sighs> it's tough. So I'm just going to go There's ahead. There's only and, one right answer. I'm just going to go ahead and eat this pepper. <laughs> okay. Do you want a weenie or? I want a weenie. They're really cold now. <sighs> like it's been that long. Like numismatic addict is like, look, I love you guys, but who the fuck about this for three hours? Exactly. That's how long those weenies have been out. That's how cold they are. Robert, apparently there are people who do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My boy Robert in the threads every live stream. <laughs> we gonna make a song about our favorite supporters. I really could. Because. Yo, we got Robert in the chat. We got Zach Kwiatkowski, Asia Capitals. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm going to leave it to chat GPT. Chat GPT. Speaking of chat GPT, so our friend Mike, can I say his last name or name? No. Okay, Mike. <laughs> his name's Mike? I mean, poop. Chat. His name's Dudu. What? Was it? Who are we talking about? I thought it was Mike. Wait, which Mike are we talking about? Who sent you the chat GPT? That's Chaz. Oh my god. I'm oh, so okay. sorry, Chaz, but okay. I have been in confusing Chaz, you her. with this other way lit. <laughs> light skinned man, like who looks just like you similarly. I'm sorry. I just you know, it's almost like you know, like you know, Nordic people look the same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I don't know. I, I know how to tell Koreans and Japanese people apart, but you asked me like, oh, is that a Korean person or a French person or Italian or what? You know, it's kind of hard. It's hard. It's kind of hard. I'm and, and if you mistype them, you're like, oh, are you Russian? They're like, no, I'm Slovakian. I'm so What's wrong. wrong with you? I'm Slovenian. I'm from Ukraine. You're from Not Ukraine. Russian. Get out of here. 
Well, I mean, no matter what, I am super thankful for all eight backers who no. broke the ice. Yes, me too. Me too. And with the thanks, I want to read this chat right, read GPT this chat. thing to you. If I can pull it up. Oh, I got it. I got it. No, don't leave. Don't Why leave. Don't leave. We're not going anywhere. I'm I'm too lit to leave. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's on your phone. Oh, okay. There you go. So Thank you so much, everybody. Robert, Murica, just say fudge, Jack. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. One of the things we're going to do tonight, it's 1240. Chaz, you're awesome. You're a great friend. I love seeing you every time, and I can't wait till we hang next. I hope you go to Porkfest or Sarasota or Washington. Fest. That'd be awesome. Well, let's get married with Ashley. So. Oh, that's true. That's we'll true. We'll definitely be at that wedding if they invite us. Yeah, we'll see. Obviously, but no worries if not. We wish if you not, the best. Of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, you, better advise. you ready for this? This is the chat GPT AI bot, which we did a meme review earlier for those of you who were there two hours ago. That's right. There are those of you who were there two hours ago. You remember we covered the chat GPT meme that apparently had way more users like really fast than even like they Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. That's that's a crap. But it makes sense. Because it's really easy. You don't have to make an account. Okay. Or do you? Do you have to make an account? No, now, right? Now, ChatGPT GPT moved you to do. a paid model. Oh, some, that makes like sense. Free thing, but of yeah. course. It was so popular. Okay. Well, anyway, so this is from ChatGPT. I don't know the prompt that he fed it, though. But it must be, a you know, a limit. So this is the whole wrap. Okay, verse one. Can you put some music up? Can you put some, like, royalty-free music up? Royalty? Yeah, yeah, I got Even you. Even though I don't believe in IP, I just... Yeah, yeah. Hold I on. don't want the government to take my legs. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just. <laughs> you want some lo-fi? So I pay off the mafia. To take my legs. For, like plant. Okay, cool. We got some lo-fi. Oh yeah. I have so. You're a little bit. First one. Let me tell you about a power couple back and forth. They live in the life that we all want to know. <laughs> They got comic books, podcasts, music, and more. They got a music message to spread, and they'll never bore. And narco capitalists, they're living free. They don't need no government telling them how to be. I'm way off. They've <laughs> got straight shooters, no lies. They're living their best life. No need to compromise. I mean, guys, this is way better than me on a in the day where I only got 10 minutes to make a rap. Okay, chorus, Jack and Fla, the, the libertarian dream, got a message to spread, and they're making it sleep. So easy to live free without any change. Jack and Fla, the, the ones to praise. Chad, GPT, we out here every day. Just kidding, I made that up, I added that. Okay, verse two. <laughs> they're rapping and singing, making music that rock, getting down at Tom Woods' house, he never stops. What a man, I do not consent. The music's like a revolution, the world's a little bit. They don't trust the government. They don't need their help. They're making their own way. They don't need no felt. Oh, wait, they don't need to be felt. I'm sorry, I messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna make that up. Well. Anarcho capitalists are living free. Jack and fuck, they're the ones to see. And they'll be Washington. Libertarian Mises Caucus. Okay, just kidding, I added that. Okay, chorus. Jack and fuck, the libertarian dream. You got a message to spread. <laughs> they're making a scene. Okay. Who made this? This sounds like a human. This really is an AI bot. Yeah, okay, those one. data scientists that program that, they did a good job. Outro. So if you're looking for some inspiration or just need some good music for your next celebration, Jack and Flo, they got you covered. The music is strong and the music discovered. Well, that's all right. I would say the rap that I think is really good is by Break the Great Reset. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone pointed out earlier, they wrote in the comments, they're like, they're the carb you're the carbon they want to reduce. reduce. Yeah. It's, a good line. it's great. It's like, what's And fun? it's so it's true. They're do. like, oh, yeah. and carbon pollution and carbon pollution. But what oh, they're really yeah. talking about is you. Right. Yeah. No, they, they're <laughs> eugenicists. They That's not the one. Uh, oh, what's that? Um, they're eugenicists, but, you know, it's like... Uh, you know, what do you think about it? This is nothing that is um, relatively new. A lot of it is that during the early 20th century, you just, you, you know, eugenics is a very big thing. And uh, 
a lot of the people who were the children of those people who were in the early 20th century adopted those views and they took the bombs their own whether it's Bill Gates or Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab comes from Germany and his history and there's many it's not Germany. just them it's yeah there's yeah. many many institutions Planned Parenthood is one yeah federal government yeah well I mean a lot of it is just federal reserve it's just that ultimately there's a group of people who um you know, basically believe that their existence is more worthy than yours and that, that they're going to uh, you know erase the useless leaders the people that they believe that are lesser than them right uh, that's definitely the fundamental difference they're the ultimate ultimate supremacists right they're the ultimate suppressors um, because they race. think that they themselves right. right it does go beyond race it's the, just that like, they themselves and their friends and their right. allies like, are the oh, ones that we, should have all the we property. Have the, uh, yeah, we have the ultimate vision of humanity. You know, for us, it's a big deal because we think that the ability for people to advance and for people to create uh, can spring from anywhere. You know, it's, it's not something where it's like these people who think like, oh, you know, only we have the solutions and we have to monopolize that, you know, and, and, and that, that kind of thing. We, you know, we're well understanding of the, the base concepts of property rights and individual autonomy. Where Oh, and also, know, if I may add, yeah. that human mind is prone to error. Right, that's true. It's like, so it's not just that, you know, um, we value individual body and property rights, but it's also that we recognize that humans right. are prone to error, right. are, are prone to believing things without evidence, believing things just because they want it to true, want it to be true, not because they have evidence that it's true. And so therefore we shouldn't have a monopoly on violence by default. We shouldn't have taxation by default. That's it. Slavery has just taken another name in the form of words like property taxes, taxation, military, war, conscription. These are all things that are essentially still slavery, but you know, you slap a fancy word label on it and it can abstract the reality of what you're perpetuating. Right. So anyway, this shame is really strong and I think we're going to end it here. No, we're not. We're because if going. there's a ninth backer, we're going to ninth backer. We're going to repeat the one time that um, I was blackout drunk. <laughs> In that one club. Let's go. Together. You heard Fa. We are going to blackout drugs. Oh my Let's god. Go. I don't care. Dude, point, it's to the point where like when you blink, one of your eye blinks. You know no, what I mean? I, I'm there. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm right there with yeah, you. Yeah, no. I'm pretty late. This is God I don't care. telling you to stop my child. <laughs> Someone's like more peppers. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> more uh, ultimately, what, like what This matters, is the last pepper we have, and it's like a half. Actually, I only got three peppers, sorry. But, uh, All right, Mr. E, if you be our ninth backer, we'll take you up. We'll eat the rest up. of this pepper, and then we out of here. No, I ain't. Because if we have any anymore, we will be... Cheers, Robert America, drunken master. No, we, like... Again, the main thing that I like to focus on when it comes to, to this conversation about liberty and when it comes to, well, you know, why why is it? Like, why do we do what we do? Because when, you know, I, I've thought of this a lot when it comes to what side you could take. Because you could take the eugenicist side, which is like, oh, if you have a certain intellect and you have a certain worldview, then you can be in favor of central planning, to be in favor of, oh, yeah, we just need to have this like certain elite group of people and wipe off everybody else. But the reality is right, is and that, our prejudice against others just right. because of whatever reason you have, and it varies amongst. I, even I take those I in take power, the opposite but. view, which is that everybody is valuable, and you don't get to having this widespread diversity of views that ultimately inspires human flourishing, unless you have that freedom of information and you have that respect to property rights, and these people don't care about that. They just want to wipe off people because they think they're the best, and. I think that's foolish because ultimately what you want is you want everybody to be respected and everybody to have a chance that even if you can't see it in the moment, even if you can't see their ultimate end in the moment, you give people the chance to show their best self, right? 
And that's what make mistakes. It, well, they make mistakes. And be able to mistakes. own their mistakes and not cost and not have everyone be forced to fund we, those mistakes, right. which is what happens with government. We understand with that endless waste and wars. We're right. all forced to flip the bill. You need to have the freedom for people to both make mistakes and also for serendipity, which is the idea that people, in the midst of what seems like as if nothing good comes from a situation. You have an opportunity for something amazing to come from something that's undeserving or horrible. And I think that's that's really what it boils down to, is that if you have just pure respect to profit rights, you have pure respect to people, uh, you know, look at each other and say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna treat your body with high respect, you have the opportunity for amazing things to happen. And in learning the midst and of growth. things that you don't right. expect to have that. Right. And that's and that's the beauty I think of existence is 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 wonderful things coming from where you least expect it. And these people who are in the central planning positions believe that they have all the answers, they have all the knowledge. And so with what they're doing, they're saying, oh yeah, we're going to cut off any possible solution outside of them. And And it's always double standards, right? right, Because they're like, oh, you will eat the bugs. You will own the nothing. Uh, In Saudi Arabia, they're like, we're going to build the wall. (laughs) <laughs> we're gonna have nothing we're just gonna be a wall in the desert meanwhile what do you think the saudi princes are gonna live in right they're all gonna live in a castle are you kidding me you think they're gonna give that up it's such a farce i mean you look at like the british royal family and they're like oh you need to be careful british citizens you need to not have guns but meanwhile who do you think surrounds the queen and all the duchesses and princesses and princes whatever right who surrounds them? Men with guns or women with guns, people with guns, literally. These people are literally living up to the definition, my definition of evil, which is moral insanity. It's not some abstract thing. Moral insanity is precisely advocating for moral laws while in your action actually violating them that is moral insanity that is what i define as evil and there are people in the world that violate that and and continue to do that and those are the people we're trying to stop it's not that okay we get rid of taxation we get rid of an institutionalized extortionary theft system right it's not that if we get rid of that everything will be hunky-dory and everything's perfect and no humans will ever make mistakes again no it's that you have a system where there are actually outlets for failure. So you say you, you say you have like competition in the market, right? So some people actually make mistakes, they're entrepreneurs, they start a business, they make a product that's not so good. Well, because you have choice to either go to another company and you're not forced to go with one company, like we are with the government, if you want to think of it like that, forced to fund the government, the federal government, no matter what you you know you realize that you actually have choice and things that things actually expand when you're given that choice so you know that's all we're looking for we don't want people to have like different moral rules than other people that's insane like these people are literally human beings just like us and just because you got into this institution made by man human beings called government doesn't give you a right to steal doesn't give you a right to murder doesn't give you a right to kidnap people whether it's for war or conscription you know it doesn't give you that right so we just got to get back to that and whether you're going to have government exist or not government just should not be extortionary it should not be coercive and that's it but all the governments that you have today are coercive and extortionary and that's what we are tasked with our generation to spell out so here we are so thank you everybody (laughs) for supporting break the great reset we had some sake we had some jamie it's been over three hours we're playing lo-fi hip-hop i don't know who you people are around the east coast america tz i hope i see you in washington state because you know about the pn day that makes you cool all right (laughs) We're going to hang out in Washington and Porkfest. Some of you people, I hope you're going to be there. 20th know, Florida, year in. Oh, yeah. Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, event. There's a lot. Oh, oh, or our Lou Perez event. Lou, how are you? 
God damn it. <laughs> okay, for anyone who doesn't know Lou Perez, just look up Wolverine Claws. I, I look up Lou. Wolverine Claws. Is that is my favorite skit. Comedian, and I just. <laughs> He's so funny. He's I like George spirit. Carlin's little bro. He, he is. He, he is. So <laughs> and when you make him laugh really genuinely, appreciate. he goes. Ah! <laughs> okay, no, not exactly. I love really it. Cool. I like to see his little kid self whenever he does his jokes. Yeah. He's, he's just always there. And I, I love it. I love it. And it's so like, blue. You know, and his family is it's great. It's, you know, it's... You could say it's part of our liberty community. Yeah. You no, know, and each of us have that. Like, Community is built through voluntary individual associations. Okay? Okay. And even though we're all libertarians, doesn't mean we're all friends. And that's part of the beauty of it, yeah, is that you choose who <laughs> your friends are. But in any case, I will fight <laughs> for you to have gun rights so long as you don't violate the body of property rights of others. That's right. it. That's, the whole goal. that's it. The whole goal is just that's like, all we're saying. Wow. Like, <laughs> The, the whole hu like human renaissance oh, like, still looks back in time like oh abolitionism <laughs> and slavery like well that must be so weird to be like you're an abolitionist in the 1600s or early 1700s not war, just weird dangerous right. you're ashamed we are you're like people. what's wrong with you we need people to pick cotton we are literally don't you understand people who are chinese and yellow they need to work on the railroad <laughs> right we're out here well, they be to wrong. Say, hey <laughs> There is a way to have both human flourishing and prosperity without coercion. We're and just a modern day slave abolitionist. Yeah, it's it, just that the language of slavery has changed to be utopian. like property like, taxes, oh, conscription. Just, you're expecting some like change of behavior and some weird shit yeah. that like everybody has to do that's that, that's beyond the scope of human behavior. It's like no, it's like everybody expects for themselves. By default, everybody wants their consent respected. It is a logical axiom. You cannot escape it. You cannot escape the concept right. that they want hey, their own consent. You want respected. your consent respected. Right. Everybody wants it. It's the foundation. But most people will violate others and make right. excuses to violate the rights of others. So they'll be like, oh, yeah, war on drugs. We should have that. Right. We should have the government intervening because I don't like drugs right. and I think drugs are bad. But we, whereas if they actually were harmed by the war on drugs, they would not be for the war on drugs. And that's what you see for anyone who's like a government policy advocate, right? Right. What is usually the common thread between these people? They had a personal experience that impacted them to make them be like, okay, now I'm like anti-cancer. I'm anti-gun control. I'm, I'm for gun control, right? Whatever the thing that happened to them is what colors their political experience. And all we're doing as libertarians and anarchists and ANCAPs philosophers at the bare bone that's what i think of volunteers it's just like people who are just philosophers who are like okay how do i be consistent about what i advocate for right. whether it's peaceful parenting or government you know like these are the the people that yeah anyway i just yeah <laughs> Right. Okay, well, let's just refresh the page because we're two above six. <laughs> no, it, 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 I agree. It, it's just not. It's, yeah. it's not a complicated concept when you boil it down to the brass tax, which is that everybody has a base desire of wanting their consent respected. Everybody wishes to be sorry autonomous sorry. in their sorry. bodily control. Nobody wants to be stabbed or molested or hurt. Like um, Jack consents to this, you know. Yeah. But if he didn't consent, right, he would be like, "Hey, hey." So. But but yeah, it, it's 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 not yeah. hard, and it's just it's something that's so basic, but has been lost through sophistry and people using language to obfuscate reality right. by generalizing society and just saying, "Oh, well, well like the words you taxation need to have these taxes to so society is it's right. just." It's just nonsense. The reality is, is that all these different psychologies when it comes to war and mass murder and everything else comes from validating and rationalizing psychopathy and sociopathy. This idea that someone is somehow justified in committing acts of mass murder or mass theft because they say that they're the state they're acting your best they're part of the government it's it, it's justified okay it's come on absolutely if you make it to the ccp you're allowed to murder okay i'm just saying right that's so it, that's how i get by with my moral laws that's how i stay sane right because <laughs> so, i make exceptions <laughs> all right truth who in this room is probably better at oral sex than um, you 
That's a good question. And I would say Jack because he's very strong. All right, we're gonna leave. So, <laughs> Where's the knife backer? We don't have a knife backer. Knife. All right, yeah. Mr. E Man is dropping raps over here. About, Throughout, he's like, like less spewing, too. more chewing, less oval, more scope. The collectivism, <laughs> too, is, is at the root. Like, okay, when we're yeah, talking no. about rationalizations for mass violence and mass theft, often comes from collectivization, where it's like you group people together based on race or nationality or whatever or geography or geography that's what government it's does it's really important to reject those things because the fact is is that when you collectivize people and dehumanize people that's what leads to these types of rationalizations for why you need the state to like fight for you and when you start to reject that on a mass cultural scale you actually get this beautiful thing which is peace and prosperity among people instead of being like oh i hate this person just because of whatever you're on this team you're not on my side you're not on whatever this government is this region when you get rid of that you start to interact yeah you're not going to be pitted against your neighbors right, just because just, you're all voting over what tax dollars that you're all forced right. to give up go to of course it's inevitable if you're forced to fund something you're gonna be incentivized where the money that you're forced to give up goes right so that's the nature of taxation. It pits neighbor against neighbor. Whereas you're not going to be mad at somebody that they voluntarily chose to buy Adidas, whereas you chose to buy Nike, right? For example, uh, you wouldn't. You would just be like, oh, okay, why do you like Adidas better than Nike, right? You, you wouldn't be mad at them. But because when it comes to government, the federal government, whatever, state government, local government, because you're forced to fund these things, you're going to be mad at your neighbor who votes differently from you because you're all forced to give up your money. So that's all we're saying. We just want a store to a truly sane society, a society that truly is civil. Never it is a voted. farce that taxation is required for a civil society when it's the opposite. Taxation literally creates an uncivilized society by default. What do you call putting someone in a jail cell because they don't give you money? That's barbaric, that's uncivilized. Okay, and we need to be clear in our language. We have the chance to actually spread these ideas around the world. There's no reason for us to pussyfoot around it. You know, and I don't know if this is the only life we get. But regardless, you should at least try to make it as free as possible. If you really see Robert America agrees. Isn't that enough? Literally, his last name is America. Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> But seriously, Robert Merica, are you a ginger? Are you like an Irish ginger person? Because you got the Irish resistance in you. In you. Here we go. <laughs> oh my it's god, we're at nine backers. We're gonna I I'm already faded. I, I can't even do this. What am I gonna what do? We're going for? We, <laughs> Grateful we Driver came, Nine Backers. <laughs> we saw and we Hey, to what's say, up, Grateful Driver? Hey. <laughs> We are here. We're serious about liberty. We are in the midst of a world where everyone is trying to rationalize mass murder and mass violence, whether it's in the Russian government, the Ukrainian government, the United States government, the Chinese government, the British government. Not the, and not to be confused with the people of right. Ukraine, the people of China. It's very different. Okay? We're talking about the literal these, government, right, those government. in the political class that literally make a living off of lying and getting you to agree that the state is necessary for a peaceful and prosperous society. When actually it's the opposite, like we just said. Literally, taxation, government, as it is effective today, is literally tyranny, coercion by default. And that's it. It's as simple as that. We just don't want slavery by default, okay? It's not to say slavery will never happen in a free market. It's just that, do you have outlets for failure? Do you have a better chance of actually defending your life and your liberty? Yes, you would in a free market, you would. You wouldn't have the NFA. You wouldn't have it to be illegal to have a fighter jet, to have a, a, a tank, to have a, a nuke, to have what? Something that you would be able to say that, hey, I can protect my sovereignty and my community with and defend it with, you know? Right. I mean, you actually have that today when it comes to governments, if you think about it, and, and unless you think about the Great Reset governments collaborating for the New World Order, 
you have technically governments that are in competition with each other. You already have a illustration of what anarchy is like, which is really individuals choosing to spend their time and their money on certain things that they want. And they may have conflicts and disagree. Now, the question is whether you systematize an institution that steals and exploits by default. That's it. We just don't want it to be default, okay? We're not in this pseudo, you know, like irrational world where you believe that all humans are perfect. No, that's why we have governments. That's why we have wars. That's why we have people who aren't in government that say, no, we need government, okay? That we recognize that. Now, the, all we're saying is we shouldn't have systems and institutions that steal by default. It's just, why? It's just, if you understand the nature of government, it would be that simple for you. That you shouldn't have to be forced to fund things that you don't agree with. Simple as that. Well, cheers to Kyle for taking us <laughs> over. Cheers, Kyle. <laughs> Cheers um, to that. Cheers. And yeah, it, I, mean, I said this for like eight years, and we're getting there. You know, no, we liberty has are. spread for like the past eight years. Dude, you awesome. see Michael Malice literally talking about secession. You were on Mises Institute Korea's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. newsletter, the year, yearly newsletter. You got Jack Lloyd with the Korean article talking yeah. about taxation being theft to Koreans in yeah. South Korea. And, you it's know, it's a, it's a small thing, but it's it's something that it's just it's a start. It's just right. It's a part like of the slavery culture. abolitionists. They were you a minority. Start, um, you know, with having big waves, it's you, you start at a very small impact and you move up. But uh, honestly, it's not really, you know, that one particular act is not really the totality of the impact. The totality of the impact is when you look at how in this world right now, you have even people like Elon Musk engaging with the message of liberty or Jack Dorsey posting Rothbard's Anatomy of the State. Yeah. And you have, you know, people across the board who have millions of followers calling for abolition of government agencies, whether it's Stephen Crowder saying that FBI needs to be abolished. Yeah. Oh, I, I've followed Stephen Crowder for so Green long. Seeing secession. him become more libertarian is right. awesome. Roman There's, Millennial, she's another one. Right. She was like more like she said well, centrist and then she switched Martin, to libertarian you uh, Rowan millennium like, really you know funny. she follows you and there's you know there's a lot of people who we interact with who are uh you know obviously very well and likewise we're all influencing and, and, each other technically right. those you respect but a big part of what we do we influence you know those who are also influential and we do that because we are principles and we're Cheers, people, people are attracted backer. to us for our principles with the reason why we are successful in that realm is simply because not because it's superficial but because we actually have really great arguments and really great um i guess you could say uh, historical development of thinking and philosophy in a way that gets people to really refresh what they know about the world and what it is that you know they've been processing for so long as it's been presented to them and that's especially jack over here you know we got a libertarian scholar we have a lot I of libertarian scholars libertarian scholar. that's so, why you're on the mises institute though it's like the misesians well sure 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 but, but again it's <laughs> not i'm not sitting here trying to toot my horn in that way i'm just simply no. saying that the 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 reason why it's successful is because we're not giving fluff. We're giving no, it's true. really thorough, it's empirical, philosophical reality about and why do you no do the way you do, what is it that you think about, how do you act, and building a philosophy from those things and saying, hey, and reciprocity, you expect your consent to be reciprocated. You expect your body to be protected against violence from others. And if you just sit there and say, hey, okay that is what i'd actually want and that's virtually everybody it's not really that hard to move from there and to sit there and say oh okay you know maybe we should just have that universalized right like everybody wants to respect their body everybody wants to be like yeah yeah and know, especially I... now more than ever right we're we're luckily you know be one of the things that find solace in is we're not the generation that had to argue for chattel slavery being immoral <laughs> Or that murder is immoral, or that rape is immoral, or right, theft right. is immoral. We don't. We don't have to argue that. Everyone understands that kidnapping, theft, rape, murder, right, all those success. things are immoral. Yeah. The only thing we have to do is help people understand the reality and the nature that is government and taxation. That's it. 
We just have to get people demystified from all of these words, salads, and abstractions that they were indoctrinated to have, especially through the public school system, but through like media, mass media as well. You know, like that's all we're doing. And it's pretty cool that we don't have to be the ones that argue like, hey, did you know rape is bad? Here's why. Right. Like we get to start from the foundation that everyone generally understands that body and property rights, right? You go out regular into the market, especially in America, you go out, most people are not into coercion. Right. If you do something uh, wrong, if you do something they don't like, like especially if they have a sign posted at their store or something and you break it, what is the first thing that they do? They use language. They say, hey, can you please follow our rule or get out? It's not immediately shoot you in the head. <laughs> okay. Like most people have a basic tendency to want to de-escalate violence and to come to a mutual understanding. Okay. And just have some pro body or property rights respected. That's it. So all we're asking for, frankly, is not, we don't even have to like convince people that body and property rights are correct. Most people agree. They just don't understand and see most people what happens with government and whether it's taxation or you know eminent domain having the right over all properties within a you know subjective geographical area when they weren't the ones that homesteaded it or bought it directly like we're just trying to help people see that those things are actually violations of body and property rights too that's it you know it's really that simple it's really not that hard like I would just say that the libertarians really are like the modern day slavery abolitionists. The one that no matter what people say, like, oh, we got to have slaves to pick cotton or what do you mean? What do you mean? The economy would just fail if we didn't have slaves. Everything would be more expensive, right? All these people. It doesn't matter. E even if it was true, right? What, what matters more? Literally the dignity of an individual human being and whether or not they're forced to work or not right is that not what matters more i think humanity humanity can figure out the rest okay we, we don't need to enslave each other in order to have food we don't need to enslave each other to have shelter okay we really don't and when we don't enslave each other that's where the most beautiful inventions come about because now everyone has a chance to choose to do something greater or not or to fail or or not and to learn from their mistakes and not bring everyone down with them in a geographical area, you know, if they just so happen to attain power. power so. But yeah, so th <laughs> thanks so much, <laughs> everybody. Um, you know, I could talk about this all day and I will, you know, LP Washington, LP Mises Caucus, Porkfest, Lou Perez, if we get you down, that'd be awesome, Florida man. Try to get you, this New Jersey man down to Florida, aka previous New York. Anyway, but yeah, that'd be cool. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on this year, and 2024 is going to be even bigger. But uh, I just want to thank everybody. We're literally at 4% of our campaign, and we're not even, we just started. It's not even been a day. So, really cool that we have nine backers already. So, we're real deep. <laughs> As, we're at as, four as hours and 11 I'm minutes. We were just trying three hours. So we said six backers at 12 a.m., but it's now one, one 12 a.m. and nine backers. So that's pretty cool. Right. I haven't had this much alcohol since that one time I was like blackout drunk. So I think we're going to have to call it a close soon. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm going to say goodbye, goodbye for real, for real. And I don't want that. You know, I yeah. want to join you guys. I want to. I want to end the Fed. I want to end the income taxes. I want to end all the taxes. I want to abolish taxation and abolish slavery and have a beautiful family. You know, that's why. All right. Well, thanks everybody. <laughs> I hope to see you in Washington. I don't see any more no, back there. Like so I guess see we some can... people and actually even on the stud, there's people saying TZ is going to be. Yeah, uh, TZ over there, will so be there. P and and um, Robert, thank you so much. Yeah, excited. You're Please, awesome. yeah, come on by. You know, yes. pwa.org. Check it on out. Uh, we'll be there in Washington. We've got some events, too, in Florida. As we said before, if you came in late, check out our stream earlier. I am way too sloshy to be specific. I got to cuddle this man. We've had a lot of drinks <laughs> thanks to uh, the support. Thank you so much. And we're excited to make this movie. Thank you so much. Um yeah, I mean it's it's awesome. What do you like, say? Thanks, thanks for letting us be goofy with you and be you know stupid. 
Sure, a bit. I know you, you can literally see the exponential <laughs> growth of like <laughs> IQ. Two thousand to one hundred. Oh, no, the things I do to try to. <laughs> Get some hype on our <laughs> on our projects for Liberty. Oh, this know? is great! I really Let's hope go. you enjoy your perks, and we're really excited for Break the Great Race. Mm. And uh, we're gonna definitely—you'll see us again. We got sixty days left of the campaign, yeah. so you'll definitely see us some more. So, yeah. And uh, TZ says I have to make sure I'm there the day you two are there in right. Washington well, we'll be there State. For three days. We'll be there all three, but the, our our special event, the aspect that's just meant for us, like oh, here's our headlining part is Friday. Yeah, but we'll be there. I think for we'll be around. But, you know, yeah, we're gonna catch right. like cliffs and whatever's happening on Sunday. I don't yeah. know if we'll do around. I'm sorry, not Cliff, Clint. <laughs> Cliff, close enough, close enough. Cliff for the big run. All right, close whatever. Enough. I got associates. Okay, well, thanks everybody. <laughs> I really appreciate all the support, and uh, for those who were here, like literally the whole hour, like TZ, the whole, Robert, hour, the full four hours. I don't even. If you're, yeah, four sorry, hours, the full four hours. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, you're awesome. All right, take care.